Today we're checking out Pikmin 4. This is a new release, just came out. I haven't done a Nintendo video since last year, uh, but it was Pikmin, and it is my foray into Nintendo with simulation games, of which Pikmin is one. So I really don't know what's coming here, but I've just kind of made an effort to play a few Nintendo releases, maybe on the channel this year. So I, I think I'm just going to start fresh from the beginning and have a journey into nostalgia. I had briefly just started the game for a second, so... To, like, just to make sure that nothing like inappropriate was in the game, of course. It's because I want to shield my viewers' eyes and ears. But uh, you can play with a friend now, and that's a good time, because Pikmin 2... Well, could you do that? I don't know, but I love Pikmin, and honestly, it's it's like one of those few Nintendo games that I could still stream, because it, it involves some amount of, like, planning and simulation, and it's just goofy. Uh... Uh, this is a tremendously long load screen right here, so I'm just going to let it run while I enjoy the silhouette of that Pikmin over there. Um, although it is a, a big cutscene. There's a lot of talking at the beginning. I'm just going to let it play out because... I don't believe in skipping the story when it comes to Nintendo. It's too precious to me. Okay, so... Prequel? See? I'm guessing it's a sequel. After the crash, woke up to find my ship was in pieces scattered. This is the story of Pikmin 1. And as it happens, the other Pikmin games too. He really has a bad habit of crashing all the time. One would think he would have gotten insurance or a cell phone by this point in time. All right. The Onion. The notorious pooper of Pikmin. Just something about the sound effects in this game. So utterly satisfying. I have encountered the strange new species of Pikmin. I guess they need to go over this story of what Pikmin is because of children today not knowing what Pikmin is. The strange, innate desire to pick up objects. Able to find and transport my missing ship parts. Like the notorious Guggler. Or whatever the names were. Time passed. Oh, wait, this is the dog. Was this from Pikmin 3? Hang on a second. I'm going to get up from the chair. I have to go check out my copy of Pikmin 3. Pikmin 3 was the only one that I didn't play. Oh, apparently, wait. Yeah, there's a dog in this game. I don't see it on the back cover of Pikmin 3, and I, that was the only Pikmin game that I haven't played, but apparently we have mammals now, the command. Also, Wanderlust, thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate it. Also, I'm going to go ahead and turn back on the alerts now for a moment. Okay, so we've arrived... Although the beginning of this game, I will spoil it now, takes place inside. We arrived at the last area we had left to explore. Oh my god, he just went right through the window. It's like I am bred. It is surprising that Alamar has never encountered the mundane life of indoor objects. My god, look, his ship actually works. Where will the conflict be in the story this time? One wonders, rather than the separation of him and his crewmates. Something about this area is different from the others we've explored so far. We have, like, some sort of plush dog having come to life, like Indian in the cupboard. Wait, who are you, where are you running off to? Okay, so we already have the Pikmin. We don't have, like, any type of faux naivete that we don't even know the story of Pikmin 1 and 2. Pikmin 2, I I enjoyed because it kind of started you fresh from the beginning. We have some sort of spatula that we need to get past. A lot of duct tape and like a rug. That can't be a good sign. The Pikmin don't usually scurry off like that. All right. He is familiar now. I'm trying to gauge where Alamar is even at. He's like something too much of an expert for me. To, I suppose we'll have to call them back while I search for the missing ship parts. The ship is looking pretty good, though. All right, I mean, okay, I'm up for it. New mechanics. We are riding a dog now. I have domesticated this animal. So some of the Pikmin head this way. 
Oh my god. No, you're not gonna do what I think you're gonna do. A water Bambi. <laughs> oh, cool. We can actually jump. Press. X. I don't think we've had the ability to jump ever. This kind of makes it into like a platformer at the same time. I enjoyed the planning of the. Oh my god! It's as if we just cut to a cutscene that showed exactly the same thing we just did. Oh, we have discovered the red Pikmin, the first of the primary colors. Hey, F Dog, thank you very much for the 30 months. Appreciate you. Doing good. Hope you're having a good day. Use B to call them back with my whistle. My whistle. Whistling at the Pikmin, they love that. All right, I'm getting sort of like a Blue's Clues vibe here. Wish I knew why the Pikmin ran away and hid in the first place. Hmm, I better make a note of this in my voyage log. I'll do it later. Story doesn't matter that much. Generally, I start to get more fed up with these things. Oh, although I do enjoy his fake language. When arrived at the appearance, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. I do like his prose, though. They flew out of the onion and immediately hid. I can't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll just keep looking for them and call them back using my whistle. <laughs> I need to find my finishing ship parts. It would be much easier if I have Pikmin to help me. Uh, Pikmin isn't really like a puzzle. It has some puzzle elements in it, although it's primarily, I always thought of it as kind of like a simulation game. Um, or, like, it was a poor man's RTS when I was a kid. Uh, like, we never had a computer growing up, so I would just play Pikmin and stuff like that when we eventually got access to a GameCube. And this was the first of my... Are we just gonna jump off of this? Oh my god. Hang on a second. Uh, get over here. All right. Uh, <laughs> they've, like, found drawings and coloring on the ground. Man, the mundane habits of Pikmin please me. Although this does seem like it's going to the game make the game much easier to play because there's a lot of chores. And, oh no, it's a bookend. I stand corrected. I've selected the wrong button. There we go. Okay, we have saved the blue Pikmin. Something tells me I'm about to lose everything. Like I get this vague sense of foreboding. Finding the ship parts. Yeah, I was gonna say that camera could get kind of obnoxious pretty fast. Uh, okay, so you jump and then you rush. You use the same button because they didn't add enough buttons, I guess, onto the controller here. All right, well, we will jump. Fantastic. Uh, hmm. The police are gonna come. Why would the police come? I'm doing nothing illegal right now. Oh, because of the property damage. Yeah, that's true. Before, Alamar was merely in, like, uh, like a natural environment. Now he's entered someone's house and he's trespassing. One would think that he's familiar enough, perhaps, with human civilization in order to... Okay, the Pikmin are... Oh, this looks like actually a lot of fun to be a Pikmin. Although, if the fan turns off momentarily, they could be sucked into the deadly blades and be jibbed alive. How playfully Nintendo games avoid mass amounts of violence. I will all allow it, I suppose. I think, uh, mm, we can't really send the Pikmin off now yet, can we? No, it doesn't seem as if we can. Oh no, I can just shoot them out. Well, what is up there to be had? I can't even see what there is. I'll send one of you to your death. Well, what good did that do me? Now I'm Pikminless. Oh no, he's up there. No, don't jump! I just lost him. What a waste of human life. Uh, you could have just lost all of the Pikmin. All right, well, whatever. Let's continue rushing around. Everybody's rushing. Yeah, he, he has no mind. He can't return anymore, unfortunately. Now, uh, unfortunately, I will probably be able to, uh, to get up to this slight step, so. Now that is causing problematic uh, just issues in my life. I have 37 out of 38 of the Pikmin. Should I rush here, I guess? Okay, yeah, let's run. That is useful for running. Oh, good, more yellow Pikmin. 
Okay, I hear voices. I check the area. It does give me the sensation of being a very small boy again, you know? Hmm. I feel like I'm just looking around. Abandoned forever, no friends. This is what gaming was like back when I was a kid. You know, you need to play games. I think I've figured out what I'm doing. Although Nintendo games and their nefarious puzzles always seem to have a way of, like, making you want to figure them out. Like, The Legend of Zelda baffled me as a child. Never being able to solve all of its ridiculous puzzles. Ridiculous. Oh, I found the backpack! Okay, there must be a ship part here somewhere. This is the perfect situation to rely upon my pup's powerful snoot. Track down one of those ship parts. Oh, she's a girl dog. She just clipped into the backpack. You're right, it is like one polygon. Although somehow, Nintendo games have a way of not really ever needing graphics, although the shaders look really good here in order to achieve good gameplay. It's just such simplistic. Ah, this, the blue scent. Oh no, it's a Sklorted Wallywog. I don't know what its name is. That thing has swallowed the whole ship. Oh yes, now we embark upon our career of mass murder. Okay, I'm pretty sure I know. Oh, that looks like fun. Hm. All right, I was assuming that I would just throw them around. Okay, but charging into its, its, uh, its ass is probably, hang on a second. Oh, this could be really, like, the dickens to try to beat this boss fight. Okay, it is- Oh my god, I've just jumped off of the whole thing. Because the camera, of course, it was the camera's fault. Why I've reached failure. Yeah, I agree- Yeah, actually, that's valid. Art style over graphics. Oh, they've maintained some of the same music. Okay, so I'm going to need to just continue the charge. There we go. Boop him for good. Okay, but I need to prevent them all from getting mass murdered. Oh, uh, I didn't do that in time. Okay, but now I at least understand the, like, thorn charging animation. There we go, good. All right, it took only two. So easy that a child. I do feel like they're trying to get new kids to like Pikmin. But I don't know why they called it Pikmin 4 in that case. The interstellar radio. We located it at last. With this pa back in my possession, I can finally call for help. All right, fantastic. No, I mean, that wasn't so hard. I do like when Pikmin stops holding your hand. Hopefully that will be the only hand holding. Because the last game had a rather extensive set of tutorials. Either that, or perhaps we'll just be in tutorial land for hours. Harvest the corpse, now they feast. Yeah, I mean, I do believe that there is some, like, philosophizing done on Alamar's part at the end of the first game. Like, uh, do the Pikmin act violent without me there? And then he sees that as he leaves, they were already violent to begin with. So they were the dominant species on this planet. Alright, good, the voyage log has been updated. I'll put that in my notebook for later. Days and weeks pass, but one month later. So he's just been living in someone's house? The rescue Corps. Okay. They took off toward this remote planet with noble plans to bring me home safe. I mean, I always kind of questioned if it was Earth. Like, I, I legit didn't know. I suspected it might be because there were like Coca-Cola bottle caps, but what if Coca-Cola was just like an interstellar corporation and they happened to have subverted Earth, you know, as like an alien company. Devil shipwrecks are rare and extremely unlucky. You might think that I'll hope. That's an interesting theory. What if Coca-Cola has conquered all of humanity? Or like, not just Coca-Cola, but other large corporations. Sorry, I'm getting into the deep lore. Yeah, yeah, I can't help but think of it, though. Alright, so now we're going to be uh, rescued by other people. We have an emergency mission. From, I believe, the other people... Who is it? Alf and then Brittany, who had a surprisingly average name. All officers were directed to evacuate the spaceship immediately, finding the dispersed rescue corps as your top priority. 
your ID badge and deploy immediately. Oh my god, we have like me character creator. We could be all the different races of Pikmin. I never expected that. I'll take it. Uh, I, you know, personally, I kind of prefer just being Olimar. So I'm just going to make someone who just looks vaguely like Olimar. I don't actually like this amount of character customization. Um, yeah, I feel like that's... Like, Nintendo, I just feel like has, like, a static protagonist. A in my mind, we're always an Italian plumber. You're not Italian? Well, get over it, you know? I need someone with... Preferably bald, or as close to bald as possible. Bald is beautiful. It is noble. But we'll make someone new. Let's make someone like, uh... I think the green hair is kind of appropriate here because he looks somewhat plant-like. The orange jumpsuit is complementary color, although the blue looks pretty decent, I'm not going to lie. Uh, my name is Rob, so I guess I'm going to do that. That's valid. It's a good name. All right, I mean, I look kind of clown-like. Planet Carrot. Oh, that makes sense! Yes, because I'm wearing an orange uniform. Newest, they happen to accept a dangerous mission in rescuing their missing colleagues. There's something just oddly relaxing about this. Green Pikmin... I mean, it made sense because of the plants. The, the Pikmin are vaguely, like, fauna or flora. Who can really say? And to have green hair is sort of like plants sprouting up out of one's head. So why shouldn't I attempt to become as the Pikmin are? You know? It is, uh, honestly, the one thing I liked in the original Pikmin was that they didn't really hold your hand that long. I do find that Nintendo has become, like, perhaps more accessible even. I, I'll say, I really like how it kind of vibes with younger kids. Like, I remember back when I was a teacher, um, like, I found a Nintendo Switch cartridge in my classroom and I'm like, ah, oh, kids are playing Nintendo still. <laughs> and like, that was oddly heartwarming, you know? Um, yeah, it, like, it made me feel, it made me feel good. Okay, good, here we go. We're back in nature. This is the Pikmin I remember. Everything isn't exactly the way I remembered it. Although I do like them taking you indoors. We have found a smaller snoot. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't even have a snoot, actually. I mean, would you call that a snoot anatomically? Young, loyal, okay. Uh, Otachi. Oh, no, Ochi. Ochi, our pup of home planet Gia, of another planet. An elite breed of space dogs that's long served the Shepard family. This is, okay, so he's related probably to Chris Shepard of Mass Effect. So perhaps out of one of Chris Shepard's affairs with his, like, intergalactic alien ladies, he's somehow fathered a dog. Perhaps. At least this is the deep lore as I explain it to myself. Ochi the dog. All right. Welcome. <laughs> of Mass Effect. Uh, <laughs> yes, it could be booped. So it is therefore a snoot, perhaps. We have some sort of Pinocchio man. In need of rescuing. Yes, his, uh, his find my phone radar is going up. Um... This is an interesting obstacle. So the dog, you're telling me, can clear this out. All right, I will send the dog to the stem. Oh my gosh! The ingenuity of the canine. Look, everyone, it doesn't actually have a butt. It just has, like, more fur and sort of like a... Like a crease. How adorable. That's nice. Very cute. All right, so now we've found... Unfortunately, his uniform is also orange. I was trying to differentiate the characters, but I unfortunately couldn't. He is strong boy. Thank God it doesn't have a fun... <laughs> is that you, Ochi? Yeah, I think that would be a little bit much, honestly, of a Nintendo game. To think of the... Of the potential number two that could... Uh, arrive out, out of his... Rear. 
thank the stars. I wasn't sure that my SOS signal had reached HQ. You and Ochi found me and rescued Caught me together. It. We don't even know your name. You must tell us your name. I've never known Ochi to listen to anyone other than our Captain Alamar. I do like that they're all like subservient and submissive to Alamar. Colin. Why does everyone have such an average North American name? <laughs> Although I do find that kind of funny. He looks like he's been cursed to be made look to look like a toy. Though I suppose that is almost everyone other than Alamar. Colin, the Rescue Corps comms operator. Although I did like them putting these people into Are Super they? Smash Brothers. The Pikmin universe is perhaps one of my favorite of Nintendo's kind of cursed deep lore. My path got cut off by a landslide, and when my, my hunger became unbearable, I decided to nap. <laughs> yes, he's a master of explaining. The latest recruit off. I don't like you calling by my real name. This is reserved for the Pokemon games. There's rough landing. Well, we entered the past atmosphere on it and lost control on the ship. Oh, no. I, I don't really want to know what happened. Just we have to get out of here. Six officers in the ship. My God, there were three characters in uh, the second Pikmin game. SS Shepherds. I wonder how they'll manage to keep the game interesting and engaging with a customizable character and like five other people. Okay, there's other people. We have to go find them. You have another item for me. How very Nintendo gameplay of you. Tap up on the left side to open a review. My God, it's like we're learning left and right. Oh, here we go. Fantastic. You can use this any time to confirm what tasks are top priority. Yeah, everyone is hungry. There's never, like, any hunger meter in a Nintendo game. Some oh, no. handy apps. Okay, so we can get, like, find my phone for the other people. Nah, I don't really need that. Oh, my God, we've got, like, a whole UI. All right, so we actually do have another man now. All right, I, I don't seem, excuse me, to be able to, like, get rid of him. Um, not that I would want to, but my god, this looks, honestly, it does look very good. Like, for a Nintendo game, very good. It's mainly the shaders, the polygons. She is the SS Shepard. I can see the ship, but I have no idea how we're going to reach it from here, you know? There's something familiar about this area. I remember something. It's just up ahead. Let's go. Honestly, everything is looking very good and pikmin -y. The plants on this planet are gigantic. It does look as like as if he's landed somewhere more hostile and tropical, perhaps Florida. <laughs> you never see, you never hear about it in the end. Yes, he could be. It could be that he's wound up in Florida. Okay, the dog can't just hit the wedge. Right, we need to find another route by looking around. Oh my God. Could it be? Send the dog to... Oh, it can dig up the dirt. It just does various tasks to overcomplicate my life. Perfect job for the rescue, but they're known for being excellent diggers. Colin looks like the type of person to steal... Hey, Mr. Lamprey, how you doing? What's going on, brother? Steal the batteries from my TV remote. Honestly... A valid, a valid quest, or er, side quest for a Pikmin protagonist. See why Rescue Pops is... Looks like the... And we keep getting more of the deep lore of the Pikmin world. They left just so much unexplored back in... I want to say it was 2001 or so when this game first came out. Looks pretty deep. We're going to have to dive right in. I do have a memory of the original Pikmin. Yeah, let's go in. The undisclosed... Uh, uh, glow hole. I was going to call it... A I was going to call it a glory hole, but I don't think that's the right thing. It is a glorious hole. <laughs> Get into the glory... <laughs> the glory hole. <laughs> the burrow of beginnings. Oh, so an underground level. Hey, Carbonized Storm. Thanks very much for the kind words. This is one of the top ten <laughs> glorious holes. <laughs> is it Ochi? He's trying to tell us something. Perhaps another rescue officer is down here. Empires of the Undergrowth. Hmm. Like that game about the ants. I always try to go back further into... Hang on a second. 
those could be related to the bullbacks. I, I think my favorite part about Pikmin is the species names, just because they're so gloriously, like, um, just dumb. Okay, this is a dead end. I was going the right way. Oh, that's very nice with the silhouette, because honestly, I am finding the, uh... Wait a second. I have to go... Tablet menu, radar map, gameplay guide. Uh, uh, what... Hang on a second. I'm trying to change the inversion on the controller, because it's really throwing me off. Okay, here we go. Settings. Settings. Uh, vertical controls... Horizontal controls, motion controls, pebble pitcher, radar map, position, control type, normal. I don't think, I don't find this to be normal at all. I find this to be very much inverted. Oh wait, no, it is. It isn't inverted. I stand corrected, actually. It's just that that orientation really throws me off. I feel like Pikmin is meant to be a top-down game, you know? All right, we're going to play it like that. And we have some lady, some squirrel lady. Ch place to find the captain, that terrified individual you see over there is the captain of Earth. What? What a bad captain. Shepard. Wait, this is Chris Shepard. What's happened to you? There's no time for a history lesson. Hurry up and do something. Honestly, Sandy Cheeks, valid. Except that she has elf ears. All right, let's send the dog to take out the fluted Bollywax. Or whatever their names are. We didn't even get to meet them before we slayed them. Can I whistle to the captain? Captain, I'm sure that she likes that. Fraternizing with the crew. We took care of the creatures down here. Can you get down? We are usurping you with a round robin. I hope so. My arms are almost numb. I've been hanging on so long. I can't do this. Uh, she has, a like, a honestly quite a hairstyle. What's your status, Colin? Are you okay? All right, she has some... She's some sort of football player. I suppose we can get that. Maybe she's, like, related to Tom Brady or something. You haven't seen since rookie training camp. It was Captain Shepard's the rescue car, if you don't remember. Did you order o Ochi to get rid of those creatures by... Wow, you really just, like, telling me the obvious that happened. First time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog trainer. All right, this is Commander Shepard of... <laughs> Honestly, why is... Why is it Commander Shepard? Okay, yes, or, like embarking on the war crimes of Pikmin. Oh my god, I forgot about the deep lore of how Pikmin is all just about committing massive war crimes in a Nintendo game. We have killed everyone. Are we happy now? Were they violent before we got here, or did I, did I do this? Am I the cause of this? Pikmin is an allegory. <laughs> Enter this cave and attempt to reach the very opening. Well then, what are we waiting around here for? Let's get back to the SS Shepherd. Okay, <laughs> very cool. I do like their changing of settings. That is varied. Although I do hope that they'll stop with the story soon. I'm not gonna lie. Like Pikmin, I'm gonna start. To, I I get it. Who's who? Like, give me the. I think the thing that was enjoyable about the original Pikmin, I'll go ahead and say. And this is actually kind of playing out a little bit like Pikmin Three. Pikmin Two is one of my favorites too. Uh, cause they added, like, one character and a couple new mechanics, a couple new Pikmin. Okay. Although Pikmin 3, I found it to be, like, a... Perhaps too much story. How are we just going to float up there? Alright, well, whatever. Um... Alright, I, I think I can handle it myself. We just press A on top of it. Oh my god, we could have died! Not gonna lie, uh... I was kind of curious there. I, it seems they've added in a few new mechanics, but I, I did like the kind of introspective vibe of Alamar's like non-speaking monologues. I I don't really I don't really feel like I'm that crazy about that many characters. I wonder why they add in the customizing thing. I guess like it does kind of make it so you don't just have to play as like a like a stubby man with a with a big nose, you know. Like, I feel like that was kind of in the first game. Exercise a bit more caution on it. 
Yeah, I, f I feel like I don't even... Although I do like that they say that you can just skip through them. All right, I'm going to start skipping through because I'm finding this to be just a lot of story. You guys feel me on that? Yeah, it is. It's like the fizzy lifting drink. It, it, I had like a Wonka moment there. That's actually a valid comment. Fold up, gorilla. Yeah. Oh, is it the demo content? Oh, was this in the demo? Honestly, did not even see it. This is a, uh, what do you call the flowers in Pikmin? I can see that red number one sticking out there. Yeah, I mean, these games, they don't need, uh, they don't need dialogue. All right, so we've found the ship. Here we are back. We've secured an energy source. Sparkly objects can be used as an energy source. Okay, this is the essential text. Bring it to Commander Shepard. They've created, at least, uh, I'll give them this. It's valid that they've, like... Yeah, there's a lot of sparkly stuff around here. This all the, like the gemstones, or it could be that Walter White has made like some. Oh no, that's it. Oh my God, they made it. And <laughs> this is honestly a great homage to, well, themselves. Game Boy Advance SPs are like ridiculously expensive. That one's in pristine condition. Who would have thought that it was just like lying around in the garden? Okay, honestly, like. Mildly uh, self-deprecating self-reference. All right, I'm enjoying this homage to the past now. Although now I'm feeling old. This is as if you would have found an NES in the original Pikmin. Okay, rush toward it, dog. Here, get a. Oh my God, no! Don't get a concussion. Not now. On top of war crimes, we can add animal cruelty to the things that Alamar has done. Oh, this is fantastic. How is it turned on this long? There must be a boy nearby. Oh, no. The dog counts as only three. Maybe he's secretly, like, three persons in one. Possibly. 1,500 points. The demo is over. Okay, so this is just the demo. I didn't even realize that they had a demo out. I guess we could have done uh, checked that out before. Let's send our dog there. You do the work for me. I'm not even going to do any of my own work to begin with. Sakio. Hey, thank you very much for the... Uh, thank you very much for the sub. I thought I was getting, like, a pun out of your name. Nintendo with the nod to legacy gear that they left behind. I suppose this is Nintendo regretting, like, its past marketing decisions. Like, why did we call it the Game Boy? We basically eliminated half of our, like, uh, potential audience, you know? I mean, that is valid. I, I can kind of feel them trying to make up for it in a lot of ways. <laughs> Although it's like, you know... Hang on a second. Oh, yes, I have to pluck it. Okay, ah, now it's Pikmin. I have plucked the first of the red Pikmin. Ah, I can feel, the, uh, honestly, the Nintendo energy now. All right, but it should be one of me versus all of them. All right, let me get rid of all of these side, uh, less important people. All right, now I can throw the first of the Pikmin at it. Oh, but the dog is also available for some lifting. Okay, good. So now, in addition to subjugating the local population, we can also be cruel to animals. I smell a sequel! <laughs> ah, very good. Yes, in we are an invasive species. Invasive. Okay, now, I get it. I've played the game before. Stop telling me. Stop telling me how to live my life. Okay, I'm assuming we can mash the A button. Ah, yes. Good. Okay, it's Pikmin again. Uh, this does look much better. I gotta say, I did play the first game, like, last year, like I said. And the graphics are, are pretty dated. Like, it looks... It looks bad. It's a good thing that they're re-releasing it, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, even here, the graphics don't look that great, but I don't really care. The shaders look good. It, it looks pretty, and, uh... Wait a minute, what was happening? Why are you milling about like that? Oh, I gotta select Ochi. Okay, never mind. Send him. Grab that two pronged fork. Babies shouldn't be eating here, after all. I mean, is that like a baby fork? That seems very dangerous, honestly. Oh, it's a treasure. <laughs> How can we physically collect something this big? <laughs> That's okay, I like that. 
light ray that miniaturizes objects during collection. This shouldn't be a problem. Okay, now I'm on board. I'll examine it with the sensors on the SS Beagle right away. Let's hope it contains the type of energy we need. Oh yeah, wasn't it like they were running out of food on their planet or something? So they had to send people out? New treasure item detected. Okay, so now we've got a fork. This is a rare treasure. <laughs> okay, the auto lock on the plants is very nice. I don't believe that was originally there. Uh, we need 10 for the Game Boy. We might have enough. Okay, so let me zoom out. Uh, still the ca- I mean, the camera has always kind of been the issue here. Honestly, I think that the Wii Remote might have been the best way to control the game. I'm not sure right here, because... Hang on a second, can I actually... I don't know if you could do this with the Nintendo Switch controllers, like, by their orientation to point the Pikmin in the right direction. Could you do that in Pikmin 3? I never actually played it extensively enough. Because I gotta say, like, Pikmin for the Wii... Not only were you playing Wii, but also, like, probably the best way to play Pikmin. Not, uh, obviously not with a GameCube controller. A GameSphere. Anyone remember, that was a, a nod to Drake and Josh. Let's have the dog work alongside them. Go, dog. Go, dog, go. No, we could, we could double up on it. We're able to, and then they move more quickly, right? Apparently not. There's just something that gives me great, great happiness to see a link cable port. Look, there's the charger on the left and the link cable port on the right. And then those two prongs over there are so that you can attach things to the Game Boy Advance SP. You remember when you were a kid and you were like telling your mom that you were missing something? You were like, actually, it was a Game Boy Advance SP that I lost at the fair or wherever you went. Well, obviously, you wouldn't have lost your Game Boy Advance SP. It would have been in your hand the whole time. Okay, we need to find more treasure. Apparently, this, like, a, a bike bell is going to be very valuable to us. Okay, here we go. Send them in. Good, we can double up on the Pikmin. Ten should be the max. Good, there we go. Bring it forth! A rare piece of uh, gold. This is. This is gold. Sure. Not just regular metal. Now, but how is this teleporting things? Oh no, this is the miniaturizer. And then that's just a module on the rest of the ship. It's valid. Huzzah. Did you make a great combination? Rob and Ochi. Okay, thanks. But honestly, I remember. I should have just named myself Alamar. Although then that would have created like a great. Confusion in the beginning in the end of the game. I'm not gonna listen to any of you I'm Quite the right equation for a copy of that but good effort Rob. Oh now you're Prescribing me to be a better listener. Well, I don't just don't want to hear anything you have to say right now Energy from the treasure will soon be extracted. It'll flow directly into the SS Shepherd. Oh Fantastic. I, I really do like that if there's more nods like that, like if we could find a Nintendo DS, maybe a very rare copy of Pokemon, uh, like, Red somewhere, I think that would be an occasion of great joy. All right, so now we, it truly was about subjugating a population in order to obtain the riches from their continent, uh, or in this case, planet in Pikmin. This is, I suppose, Nintendo's letter, like, yeah... That was what it was about all along. Imperialism. Although I think they were, that was kind of like. Ooh, the end of day song. Spark Liam. Stone of advancement. <laughs> A noble bident. Okay, I like. All right, whoever's writing the script is doing a good job here. Uh, appreciate being able to skip every cutscene. Yeah, that is true. Path creator. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Uh, Pikmin is just so goofy and brilliant. The stone of advancement is great <laughs> for the GBA. Okay, I'm just going to skip the cutscenes. Secure energy source. Uh, here we go. Pin. No, I don't really need to pin these. I mean, who goes back and reads like, well, I don't think I got enough reading out of the Pikmin game. 
<laughs> I didn't have time to read before bed today from my, uh, from my books. So instead, I, I just played Pikmin and I read the journal logs. Although there probably are people who appreciate the deep lore of Pikmin out there more than me. They collect the amiibo. They go to Nintendo Land. Yeah, less lo yeah, let's have more subjugation of Pikmin and less talking. There we go. Although I think I knew that, I expected that more, but we'll just skip through it now. All right. Uh, oh my God! It's turned into an open world game. I installed a few new apps onto your tablet. Okay, this does seem useful. Oh, cool. Yeah, let's let's go explore the planet. Is it gonna? Oh, cool. We can get like kind of an open world vibe. All right. I mean, this was kind of in the original game a little bit, but uh, good. The Forest of Tranquility. Ooh, the Sun Speckled Terrace. It looks like there might be a missing rescue officer here. Okay. Yeah. Let's go see if we can find somebody. I do like you know. Raising the size of our posse, as it were, in which to explore. Oh, yeah, it was Planet Hakatate. That was our homeworld. That was a good time. Hey, Corin Aaron, gift in the 10 subs. Thank you very, very much, Corin. I do appreciate it. I will send these back to Planet Hakatate, to our people, to let them know that there is enough food on this mysterious planet. <laughs> Hey, thank you very much. If you are getting a gift sub, please be sure to say thanks. I do hope you've been enjoying the videos. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, all right. Man, they've really... It's a little heavy-handed on the text, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little heavy-handed on the, like, number of characters. Uh, I, I do kind of just like the... Like, Alamar versus the world. I feel like they could have done with just, like, a dog. But, valid. Valid. You gotta expand the Pikmin universe somehow. They couldn't make it into, like, an MMO or an FPS or something like that. So I'm willing to extend them an olive branch here. Okay, but it is me and the dog. Okay, we're gonna rescue someone. We have some sort of clock. Oh, yep. Okay, I know how this works. All right, we have to get in before sunset. Animal arches, good. Okay, so we are actually on the timer now. Good, it's me and the dog versus... Uh, uh, what do you call these things again? Is this a bullbax or a, a wally? No, this isn't a wally wog. Is the, d the dog could die. Hopefully it won't. And what happens if the dog brings it back to the red onion? I'm assuming that it's just... Yes, that's a bullborb. Is it a spotty bullborb? Wait a minute. The spotty bullborb. <laughs> ah, they've kept the same sound effects. I do like the sound effects in this game. All right, we have to go over to a one flower. The dog is quite useful because I always wondered what would happen if you totally ran out of Pikmin, but it does kind of beg the question, what happens if you accidentally kill the dog? I'm sure they call it something different, like, oh, it just fainted. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry about it. It'll be back in a few uh, minutes. Uh, actually, at the end of day, it'll rise back up through a, some sort of a cult ritual. But, you know, that's not always how it ends in Pikmin. All right, but I'm still feeling like the same kind of Pikmin energy. And it does look beautiful, I gotta say. Like, just the shadows and the sun. It's allowed them to kind of, like, expand out the whole... Ah, uh, just the sound of... Like, amassing them and throwing them at an object is very satisfying. Look, everyone, a giant red ball! Come in, Come in Rob. Uh, I don't want to know. I don't even want to know. I just... I want to figure things out for myself. Maybe that's, like, something that I find... Look, I can just... It's basically Pokemon now. No, get back in there. There you go. There was always, like, even as a child, there was the, always this vague understanding that perhaps Pokemon was somehow inspired by, like, you know... Like, uh... Like... Um... Animal fighting. <laughs> Weren't there... 
I think when that originally happened, Nintendo was like, I don't know how they responded to that. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> well, I mean, also, people thought that D&D &D was played by kids who were performing, like, occult rituals <laughs> in the background. Oh, my God. Oh, good. Look at the blur. Wow, the bokeh effect is beautiful. All right, someone left some gloves over there. Bug col Oh, it was bug collecting. All right, uh... Now, okay, I suppose we'll find blue Pikmin therein. Oh, look, everyone! A blowhog! A fiery blowhog. There's a spotty bulborb over there, and another f uh, blowhog. I can't remember, but I think it's funny to say blowhog. <laughs> Blow. Call the Pikmin out of the onion. Okay, we need to do something else. I believe we're going to need to charge the Pikmin at that wall of branches. Although the surfaces appear hard and unforgiving, so... Uh, let's just go back over here. We're gonna need something. Well, we have 17 Pikmin. Oh, and we have the dog as well. I think, can we still tell them to... Oh, no, they r bring back the, uh... I didn't know that this took place in the uh, Breaking Bad universe. It could be that Walter White is somewhere nearby. No, don't eat them! Oh, he, he ate it to put it in his mouth. That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Alright, we just took someone's salt! Alright, let's get the Pikmin. Oh my god, they have autonomously begun bringing things back. How intelligent they are. I should take a note of this in my journal. Oh, there's my health bar too. Okay, good, I have it. Pile of raw material. Right, that's very vague. It could be that good crystal blue. It is fun. Hey, Binary Ash. I'm, I hope you're checking out some Pikmin, too, or you're getting a chance to pick out check out some Pikmin, too. Okay, destroy it. Cause more property damage. I'm sure they'll be upset. It looks like a child was making some sort of sandcastle over here. Punish him for, uh... Uh, continuing m uh, monarchical forms of government. Sand castle. There will be no sand castles in here. There will be only freedom castles. Okay, send back the... No, can I call back the dog with the whistle? Okay, the dog just looks confused when... <laughs> Did you see it turn around and then disobey me? Uh... Oh, look, everyone, a toilet seat. Oh, wait, no, that's a gutter drain, right? A cave. <laughs> it's a cave. Area is crawling with creatures. I do enjoy how they make mundane things more, like, exciting or interesting. Okay, go take that egg. Oh, it's the nectar. Okay, good. Yes, drink that up. Good. I understand how this mechanic works. Okay, so uh, to explain this to the laymen in the audience who have not had the privilege of playing Pikmin. Um, okay, so when your Pikmin develop flowers overhead, they become faster and um, better able to keep up with. I was going to say Alamar, but I guess I'm just going to... Yeah, your character. I don't really like that. Okay, but I'm going to stop complaining about how you, got, you have more options. Uh, I have more, uh, what a boomer I'm becoming. Oh no, they made it better. I'm so upset. <laughs> oh my god. What's the dog doing? Yeah, I don't know what... The dog is just kind of hanging out with the other Pikmin. Although I wonder if the dog, if I can give him some sort of, like, Dragon Ball Z substance in order to make him faster like the inflowered Pikmin. Another glory hole, yes! <laughs> uh, we can't really differentiate these two different types of Pikmin, so we just get those Pikmin close to it. Good. I do like the auto lock. That is good. Although it, it can get a little bit tricky. Okay, I should send the Pikmin down that... Hang on a second. I gotta figure out how to direct them with my whistle, because this is honestly... Just bad. Oh, this is interesting. Hang on a second. Uh, no, wrong button. 
No, left and... Okay, there's that. I'm trying to figure out how to... Use my whistle to direct them with the, uh... That nah, wouldn't be B. I don't know, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to direct them as a group, because just throwing them isn't always the best option. I will throw my life at them. For a moment. Okay, these ones should die from just throwing a few. We can overwhelm them. My god, they really look over, like, just confused by that. Okay, it's midday. Good amount of day link. We might want to just spend the first day just getting more Pikmin. Okay, those ones aren't brolic enough in order to get that. Oh, here we go. Um, switch over to the dog and rush into the pot. Oh, he was a strong enough boy in order to get through those. Oh, he needs to conserve his charge energy. Ah, jeez. Hang on a second. A little bit... The camera's a little bit tricky here. Camera's a little bit tricky, but... You know, I think it was in the original game, too, so it's just giving me, like, odd nostalgia, honestly. Ah, the bad controls! I miss the bad controls. <laughs> nah, they're okay. Oh, no! Fight them! Don't just stand there. These, like... What? These things basically look like an STI. If you were to look at it through a, a microscope. You know? What would that be? Something you wouldn't want, obviously. The right, yeah, the right stick. Although the right stick is being used for, oh, maybe I click down on the right stick. Hang on a second. Why do they look so confused? Why isn't anything coming out? Judging from the life. Okay, yes, so we've maybe reached the max number of Pikmin. No, actually, surprisingly, that isn't giving me the, uh, the thing. Okay, I'm, like, all right with us collecting treasure. It does still look very good. Although I feel like that the kind of survival bent of the first game was always kind of where it's at. Survive. Although I guess yeah, you gotta kind of get a more of an original plot line after a while. Survive. Every game is about surviving. Survive. Um, hmm. How will we get down this drawbridge, one must consider? I'm assuming that if we just put Pikmin on the bridge, we'll be okay. Put it to good use if it was finished. Okay, so we're going to need to finish construction here somehow. Uh, we're going to need to get, like, more... What are these, graham crackers? We have, like, some sort of graham cracker bridge. Acceptable. Uh, we can't really get into the water, which just means that there's probably going to be more blue Pikmin soon, but... Uh, are they going to go back the other way? Okay, good. They use their minds and not their bodies. Yeah, first you survive, now you have to thrive. That's valid. Although, what will the treasure get us? I think that was... Someone had mentioned that to me in the video I actually did on Pikmin. I, I really do, uh... I do think that this game fits with the channel in some ways. You know, like, of all the Nintendo games. Yeah, and I was thinking to myself, like, why was it that people didn't like the other ones as much? Or, like, the first one really just stood out to people. Aside from the fact that it was the first one. But somebody told me that they took the, like, rescue timer off the, of it in the second game. I remember as a kid actually really liking the second game. Though. The energy we can get. Okay, good. Good. Get the Pikmin out of the onion. Oh, did we need more energy in order to get them out? Okay. Let's go ahead and... Energy. Oh, maybe that's the motivation... Suggested. Hang on a moment. What, what are we supposed to be doing here? I need to consult my iPad. Yes, the second game did have very interesting Pikmin in it. That is valid. Oh, yes, you can get your statistics in order to use it. yet another number to judge yourself and your results in life. Oh, the isopods! Some days I feel like an isopod if I wake up really tired and cranky. Man, another day of being an isopod. And right, now we have only 12 of the 20 that are remaining with us on the 17. It seems as though more of these... What do you call the... The, like... 
Oh, yeah, what are these things called? The, uh, the flowers with the numbers on them? Can someone look that up? What are- they're, they do have a name. It's like a petal... Pl plop or something like that. Pellet posies! Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, that- they did a very good job with the nomenclature in these games. Okay, we have more of the inferior leaf Pikmin. Ready to call the Pikmin out of the onion? Okay, hang on a second. Let's just put them back. Everyone clean up. Now, oh, we can have a minimum of three. All right. Okay, and then bring them back out. And then we need to get them with us before the night. Otherwise, danger could er erupt. Pikmin will happily... Okay, I, I know that, Colin. I'm not that dumb. And you're telling, <laughs> you're telling me that I find really insulting, honestly. Alright, I guess we'll go into the glory hole... Uh... <laughs> tomorrow. Although, if this is a fiery blow hog, I should be... <laughs> I should be able to murder it. No, this isn't a good time to notice something. No, I, we almost could have died to the fiery blow hog. Unless if it's like a watery blow hog and... Oh yeah, no, they'll be fine. Red Pikmin are actually resistant to fire. I gotta say, I don't want to die and I don't want the dog to die though. I would... I'll probably get in trouble with that. Alright. The SS Beagle to a base. Egg, let's get the rest of these pellet posies because the night is rising soon. Michael Jackson will come out. It'll be like Thriller. Alright, which one are, is it going to take them the longest to do? I'm thinking this one. We've got five Pikmin on here. Can we get more? Come on, get in there, boys. Okay, good. We got six out of five. What are you doing? Okay, we'll have to leave that spotty bullborb for tomorrow. Oftenly, uh, I mean oftenly, often mixed up with the regular bullborb. And people think that they're part of the same species, but they're actually a different genus from the original bullboards. <clears throat> How do I measure that dumb? They think I'm pretty dumb. Hey, wait a second. You Don't go back there and try to help someone else out. I never authorized this. The dog might sit here and get itself killed. Oh god, they're getting more treasure. Okay, dog. Get the treasure, but I'm probably going to lose a lot of you by the end of the day. Hello? Oh, look at the time. Everyone's going to die. Okay, we got to... Hang on a second. We got to go. I might lose a lot of people. We have 11 stray Pikmin. Jesus. Oh, no, only three. Okay, so if they are within range of the... Uh, of the onion in the ship, then they, they will survive the night, I presume. Where do you think they do in the onion? Do you think that they're mating? Well, actually, they must not mate up there. Get back here. Dingus. 19. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, that is that is it. All right, back in with, with you all. Uh, end day. There we go. End. I want it to be over. Mm. Thank you, it was a dwarf bulb orb. Yes, they use, would that be, is that mimicry, is that the biological term for their synonymous? It's like fake biology, the game. Okay, so we have a dwarf bulb orb, often mixed up as being in the same genus as the spotty bulb orb, but they're actually not. They just use it in order to deceive potential predators. Ah, uh, Amphibious Ambigian. Thank you very much for the sub. I do appreciate it. Also, Casual Gaming Market. Thank you for gifting the sub. I'm sorry I missed that before. They play cards and sleep. Oh, is... You think it's like that painting of the dogs playing poker? Okay, so now we return to our, like, base area. I get kind of a zombie apocalypse vibe from this game. No one rescued. We didn't do anything. I didn't even go down the... Uh, whatever that was. Okay, I'm just skipping everything. They're attempting to throw more story at me, but I'm having none of it. 
Okay, the bugle call again. Uh, okay, we could keep exploring this area. Um, no, I think no. Oh, we have to keep talking to Colin. Why do I have to use you as the intermediary of exploration? I just kind of prefer to get into my ship. I hate you. But, you know, I will... I will allow it for now. It's me and my dog. Right, back to the sun-speckled terrace. Yeah, Colin is... I don't really like any of the characters. I like Alamar. Maybe the second guy I liked, too. I think I liked the second guy because I, I thought it was... Uh, man, I really... <laughs> so critical of everything. <laughs> Maybe it's just because it's like a game that was so... I think I first played Pikmin. I knew about it since I was a kid, and I was like, ooh, that looks really cool. And I think I played it when I was about 14. So half my current age, actually. Uh, although I still remember it, like, as if I had played it when I was a kid. I think I, I had kind of like a another Nintendo renaissance when I was about 14. I was like, ah, you know, I really love this. I think I got back into, like, Pokemon, because I outgrew it for a while. You know when you go through that phase when you're a kid and you think you're, like, too cool for all the stuff that you liked when you were a younger kid? And you, like, sell everything or give it all away. Like, I really regret get getting rid of and selling so many things back to, like, whatever it was, GameStop. All right, in we go. Clearly, this is the next event we're supposed to go for. And we're going into this strange hole. Ah. Meanwhile, I do another Stardew Valley video. I don't know, I've been getting the bug to do Stardew Valley. Although I, I just did one. Um, probably 200 days. Because there was still a lot I wanted to do on that campaign. I don't know, maybe a couple months from now. Hey, Dr. Peter, thanks very much. Happy you enjoyed it. Yeah. Sorry. My original... I get so, like, reactive when people ask me when there's another video. Because I, I never realize that people get it in, like, a kind of a micro... Uh, see it in whatever feed they get. Although, I had... Originally in my YouTube career, it was like... I didn't do enough games, so it was, like, just Zomboid and Rimworld. And it was sort of like, ah, those are the only games that I can do now. And I felt kind of like... I really like them. Although, this is kind of a curse of every single YouTuber and, like, person on the internet, is you you kind of find yourself being trapped with that, so... I think I feel it to a great extent when I play. Man, I really have a lot of issues. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. Honestly, I, I really like Stardew, though. I, I hope... Pe I'm, I'm happy that you liked it. I don't know why I'm so like, wait a minute. What's wrong with me? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I think that's just like the curse of the internet. Uh, yeah, the variety. I think people come for whatever one game they enjoy, and then, you know, if you enjoyed it in the process, then great. We did, uh, we did RimWorld. I think the RimWorld stuff is kind of unique. Stardew. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm getting a very healthy serving of variety now. Oh, the ice Pikmin! I probably shouldn't be doing this at all. Uh, I have just frozen one of my red Pikmin. It's fine. It was one or two. It was the cutscene. I just think it's gonna die. Okay, if you unfreeze them, then they don't die. They just need to be reminded not to die. Okay, I can't seem to get the ice Pikmin in this cutscene yet. Just a few of the red Pikmin are, are just gonna have to die. My god, look at them. How is it... This is actually a very good idea for a Pikmin. I could see... Oh, yeah, then we could get back to the snow environments like we had in the, uh, in the second Pikmin game. Remember that? Ah, McVenor, thank you. I'm gonna check out Nordland. Oh yeah, we did Nordland in a couple of VODs recently. Or, uh, one VOD recently. It was good. Yeah, I think, actually, one thing that, that's been nice is just, like, getting to do so much more of it. Though the one thing that I, I will still say that I've found with YouTube is, uh... Wait a second, can we, can we get the Ice Pikmin to carry this one back? 
Please, give the Ice Pikmin a chance, everyone. Unfair to the Ice Pikmin to not give them an opportunity. Ooh, their flowers turn yellow. Wow, look at that. Oh, look at them being like ice and everything. That is nice. Oh, they're like kind of heave ho, heave ho sound effect when they bring things back to the ship. It is nice. Will Pikmin Vor be a video? Probably not, because I just can't really think of anything to make it like enough of a challenge. Although I did think of it when you said it, you know. I might continue it in the VOB, that's possible. Uh, the main reason I'm probably just gonna do like... Actually... I mean, if people liked it a lot, then I would do it. I doubt many people will really see it. On the one hand, I do stuff that I like, but I'm also at the point where I can't totally do everything that I just want to do all the time. Like, sometimes... Sometimes I'm like, well, this game would make a pretty bomb video. Like, uh, there's other stuff I want to play, probably more. Uh, but I can't really play it all right now. Uh, so yeah, I still do get that. So that's the one. Oh, look, some paint! <laughs> Although, I gotta say, like, since we're on Nintendo, yeah, and this is such a rare type of thing. Oh, the yellow onion! With the high throwing Pikmin. Yeah, Nintendo games are those ones that I really just feel like I'm chilling when I play. Like, I was playing Super Smash Brothers. Uh, during the week, just to kind of chill. It's like, very often I spend so much time on screens that I'm like... I often don't really feel like that I can relax when I'm, uh... Gaming, some of the time. It does happen to you, oddly enough. You know? Although, I try to bring in more variety, and I think over time... I think Nintendo was one of the last big, like, forays into that. Oh, this is odd. We just bring back the onion. All right, I'll allow it. Okay, good. Now we have enough Pikmin access in order to be able to, like, send them here. It is nice having a pet. No, it's continue. Continue, that's fine. Have I lost any Pikmin? Okay, those look ready to erupt at any moment. <laughs> oh, no. Frozen solid. Okay, so the ice Pikmin freeze it. And then the other Pikmin hit it. I bet you this thing isn't safe to touch. Oh no, never mind. Okay, who is this? This looks like an interesting character. How do we show our support for Pikmin videos? A follow on YouTube or 10 million bits on... <laughs> that would be far too much. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably put a video out on YouTube for it. I don't know, we'll see. The one thing I find that's interesting, though, about the VOD channel is oftentimes... I guess I have to... Oh, I have to carry him back! He's man down. Come on! You know, stop that. Stop that. We got a man down. That's not necessary. Bring him back! Bring him to the ship. We must save him. Generally, what I've found is people really like, uh, well, PZ, RimWorld, Kenshi. I think those have always been my kind of three staple games. And I would say if I, if I had to be trapped in a, in a, in a room or on a YouTube channel, <laughs> playing three games forever, those would be the games. I actually really do like all three of those games. And ever since the last couple of years, even when I did play them a lot, I liked them. Although, um, now I think that I've had an opportunity to do more, like, variety and stuff. I, I like them even more, and I, I realize why they were such good games to kind of build the channel off of. In addition to that, we've gotten to do, like, city builder games and stuff like that, too. And it lets me open up to stuff like simulations, like Pikmin. Okay, we got Russ. I guess he's from, like, the Gorillas. Russ. Isn't that one of the Gorillas members' name? He does look... He has, like, bottle cap eyes. Look at him. Here we go. Just for lost recu uh, Pikmin officers. Okay, so he's just irrelevant. He's there for quantity of characters, I suppose. I mean, but when I think about it, like, how lucky am I that, uh... I don't know, I get to do stuff like Sims, Pikmin, Nintendo. Like, we get to do so much variety on this channel. I, I'm one of the luckiest YouTubers. Like, not everybody gets to do that. I, I just feel kind of spoiled when I... 
like when I think about what I get to do for fun on my channel. A lot of people get kind of trapped with one thing. We've kind of had like the opposite of that over the last year or so. Although that being said, I can't really just do anything. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think as we go, uh, outside your squad will come. Okay, here we go. Return to the surface. As we go over the next couple of years, though, I'm starting to find, like, you know, all these things are starting to seem kind of silly. Like, oh, yeah, like, it would grow the channel a lot if you did this or whatever. And I'm just sort of like, I don't know, I'm just vibing. I'm kind of, like, having a good time. Oh, Director of Destiny. Refreshing goo. And creatures. Huh. I mean, it, it makes me genuinely happy whenever I'm doing whatever I'm doing. And that way I can start to like kind of do more projects. Because when you do one thing over and over again, it, it does kind of eat away at your happiness. Although I think then that causes you to get more opportunities to go, okay, and it would be fun if we did this. And then you get bigger ideas. And I think that's how like the, I guess that's how like the creativity cycle goes. I was talking to one of my friends who's like an artist and she has gotten tired of painting portraits of people's dogs and cats. And sort of like, oh, that sounds like fun, but I could see how that could get tiring. <laughs> Here we go. All right, lesson learned. Ooh, look at that. Look at that onion roll. Wait, the onion absorbed another onion? And as... Oh! Flarlick. Oh, so we got Flarlick in here. Oh, you know what? Wait a second. Why did they do that? I guess we're getting too many Pikmin to the point where it would just be dizzying the array of Pikmin we would get. So now they're probably making the Pikmin be like... Uh... How to say this? Okay, we're going to need more graham crackers for this bridge because it's really killing my time management here. Where are we going to get ourselves more graham crackers? Rugged scaffold. Oh, we could probably move the base. Oh, that is kind of convenient. Good, wow. Oddly convenient. And getting rid of all the headaches from the other game. Okay, watch as I just basically ruin this spotty Bulborb's day. Frequently mixed up with the dwarf Bulborb. Okay, we really need to mash the A button here. Okay, no, he's attacking. He's attacking. We won't attack you. Yep, it's fine. Sloth will be their end. Nah, they probably won't try to murder me. Probably. Alright, good. Take his corpse back to the ship. Use it to create more ice Pikmin, because, damn it, uh, what else are we going to do with more red Pikmin? Obviously, it's more ice Pikmin we need. Although, I'm maybe a little uncomfortable getting the red Pikmin out of the red onion. I mean, the ice Pikmin out of the red onion. Wait a second. Will they become red Pikmin or ice Pikmin? The onion produced different Pikmin! Wait a second. No, no. What is this? There's still red Pikmin. Did we just ass all of that? <laughs> yeah. No, it wasn't. It wasn't a frog. We will meet frog-like species later, though. Sorry, I'm very like, I'm very meticulous and snooty about this. No, that was a spotty bulborb. These are the dwarf bulborbs. Uh, this looks dangerous. I don't think I'd like to do that. I, we've probably got, like, electric Pikmin, right? And I do like that, though, how they've made it that Pikmin just kind of hesitate for a second and then go back to what they were doing if you accidentally hit them once in the original game. Honestly, that was kind of an issue. Oh, no. Uh, what are these things called? Bur Oh no, uh, I do believe that the boss that looks like them is called the Burrowing Snagret. Although I, I don't recall what the names of these things are. Here go, dog. There happens to be one left. That was oddly convenient. Wow, I brought the perfect number of them. 
Look at them go! Look at them go! A sheer wig. Uh, sheer grubs. Sheer grubs. Yes, isn't it that the sheer grubs are the white ones and the sheer wigs are the purple ones or something? So what are these? Sheer wigs. Something like that. How long have we been in the game? About an hour and a half. Although Nintendo games, just perhaps because of the amount of story in them now. It, it does occur to me, like, I really didn't think of Nintendo as... They do a lot of, like, exposition at the outset, generally, in their games, although it, like... They're kind of done with it, you can tell. Okay, I'm not gonna throw... I will demonstrate. He will die if I leave him in there. Look at him freaking out. Order you to swim back to me. Right. <laughs> it is kind of horrible to... And also, like, pretty funny to <laughs> just commit, like, mass genocide on your Pikmin. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can kind of cheat my way over here. Uh, hmm? Nah, I don't seem to be able to. Sometimes you can throw them behind a bag. Fortunately, it doesn't seem to be able to happen here. Weird to be- I will- uh, let's have the discussion here, friends. Are Pikmin carnivores, or herbivores, or omnivores? I mean, we could chat about it, honestly. However, that being said, I'm not even sure that they eat. They might just be like photosynthetic murderers, like the Venus flytrap. Oh, Jesus, now it's gonna kill people. Oh, God, we froze it. Oh, that is actually kind of cool. Whoa, sweet. I love this. We can actually use the Ice Pikmin for something useful. Thank you, Ice Pikmin. Get that good nectar. Love that, yeah. Put the team on your back. Oh, look, another, uh, thing. Onion. Oh, no, we're definitely going to need yellow Pikmin for this. Wow. Mm hmm? Wait a second, what do we do here? Metal plate is raised. Can I, like, just weight it down? No, I can't. Okay, never mind. Did he fall through? I looked down upon him for that. Oh, a clock! Uh, hang on a second. Uh, alright, lots to do right here. We have some pellet posies. Uh, one, two, and... Look at the size of that one, Jesus, that's really impressive. There we go. Okay. And then I'm gonna get the dog to pull out. No, actually, can the Pikmin do this? Oh, the Pikmin can do that. Or the dog also, too, can do it. Alright, midday, midday. This is very nice. This is honestly getting the roots off that much soil is a difficult task. I'm impressed. They're like ants, carrying ten times their body weight, but perhaps to an even greater magnitude. Oh my god, there's something just so satisfying about a pellet posy. Here we go, let's go back to the... Hang on a second. Uh, how do I... Oh no, you know what? I'm going to need to get the high, higher bouncing Pikmin in order to get this. Send the dog. Here. It's like uh, some sort of plush dog, like a stuffed animal dog, isn't it? Red, red 40. It could be that that's just a bunch of, like, food coloring dye. <laughs> like, deadly food coloring dye, isn't it? Or what is the bad one? Wasn't there one that, like, lowered your sperm count? Like, yellow 5? So they had to stop using yellow 5? And now they use, like, yellow 69 or something like that? What he was saying, like, that the pellet posy is red 10. Oh yeah, what's that? That's red 5. They use that in food coloring. Yeah, I seem to be smackledorfed by this. Okay, so we can't do that. Never mind. Uh, I've got only to- I, I think it's best to just not worry about the Pikmin, like... It's kind of like if one of them dies, it's not that bad. As long as I get most of my stuff done for the day, although there are crazy people who will try to play Pikmin without losing any of the Pikmin, and I think that they're nuts. Um, 
Okay, some sort of steam has arisen. Hang on a second. Go! Go, people. Oh, yes, we have cleared the bag! There's something just so satisfying get about getting a bag out of the way. Look at that. Okay, before we enter the next glory hole, <laughs> we have to go over here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, look! Some, uh... What do you call binoculars, that's what you call those. Although they look like toy binoculars and not real ones. Does time freeze if we go down the, the cave? Go find out. It is a glorious hole. Every Pikmin, <laughs> the death of one Pikmin is... <laughs> or is this where we're going? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the death of every Pikmin is, is indeed a tragedy. I, I do agree with you. It is sad when they die. Like, I had a... Oh, Jesus. Crackling cauldron. I was feeling hotter than usual. My, I looked down. The ground was on fire. I picked, but a red Pikmin just gave me a sidelong glance, totally unfazed, even as the fire licked at them. They're clearly capable of more than just skillful attacks. Okay, so we're going down to a cal some sort of cauldron level. Okay, so we're going only with the red Pikmin. Now, this does remind me of one of the Pikmin puzzles, where almost all of them were set on fire. And I just lived with it. But if you call to them, then they unset themselves on fire. Also, McVener, thank you very much for the $11.13. Sorry, that took me a minute. Appreciate your very kind uh, donation. And Aunt Tiny. Sorry, you know, I don't have the notification sounds and everything is, like, going off. So, like, it'll appear on screen and then I'm just like, where is it? Thank you very much. Hey, I appreciate it, McVener. Thank you, my friend. I hope you've been enjoying the videos. Thank you for, uh... I don't know, honestly, it makes it worth it to do it with you guys. It's, uh... I do like Nintendo games just kind of, like, to chill. Although, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty bad at commentating them. Like, I'm supposed to be entertaining. Although I don't feel very... I don't really feel like I'm saying the normal things that I say when I play a simulation game. Like, I'm not gonna lie, platformers? basically the worst type of game for commentating. It's one of the reasons I almost never play action games or platformers. Like, you'll never see me play an FPS, something like that. Very seldom. Very rarely. Maybe for, like, a one-off video. Quick. And probably, like, a VOD. But, uh... Yeah, even Nintendo just feels like it speaks for itself a bit much. This is one of the reasons I do like Pikmin, though, because now that we've gotten through all of the like, the cutscenes and stuff. Oh, what are these things again? Yes, the flies. These things are really a pain. These things are a pain in the blowhog. <laughs> I feel so oddly innocuous playing this game. <laughs> supposed to be a blank 10 euros. Hope you would enjoy the support. Hey, thank you very much, my friend. Love it. I appreciate you. Be stupidly sentimental. When I am five years older than now, I still hope to enjoy some AA content. I hope you're back in AA five years from now, for the record. Oh! A new ability! Honestly, I did not know this. How many... Was this in Pikmin 3? I'm... I don't recall elemental resistance in Pikmin 2. We have more paint. Alright, and we have more of the yellow Pikmin. The yellow Pikmin are going to be very, very useful to our cause. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, we'll send them to sixth. Okay, we need other people because these other ones haven't been lifting a lot. I bet you these Pikmin go to the gym. Alright, now I need to separate the groups. Whoops. Uh, nope, that's not working. How do I... Just band them. All right, and now I'm gonna need some uh, control, control help. Shortcut settings, missions. Oh, you could set new shortcuts. That is kind of nice. Okay, I like this type of customization. Settings, controls. Okay, controls here. We need to know. Shortcut one. Uh, how do I ride slash dismount? Throw send. Look around. Shortcut one, two, three, manual target lock, tablet, jump charge, rush, ride this. How do I disband the Pikmin, though? 
There doesn't seem to be any button that allows me to disband that you should be able to separate them into groups because I'm approaching a fiery blowhog. This is not a ca an occasion to which I would normally bring yellow- See, I've just thrown the yellow Pikmin possibly to their deaths. I mean, I'm just going to send them in anyway. Because, like, you can just literally whistle at them to get them to get out of the blaze. However, that being said, this is something that I might not honestly feel very comfortable doing. Oh, R and L. Thank you. Wait a second. Where did it say that? Mm, oh, no. R and L at the... Br uh, uh, thank you. Although, what I meant was that... Um, like, I need to be able to tell the Pikmin to just kind of stand there while I approach another opposite. Look! Oh, no! I need to be able to let the Pikmin just stand there while I approach another object. And let them kind of hash it out on their own, you know? Like, the ones that just kind of stand there idly. I need to be able to do that on my own and try and figure out how... Oh, hold Y down. Uh... Oh, disband. Whoops, thank you. Disband would have been it. Yeah, like that. Like, here we go. I'm gonna do it right now. Okay. If I disband... Okay, you know what? I think I need to set another control then there. Let's go back. We'll go into the controls. I'm gonna add in some shortcuts. Hopefully I'll be able to disband. Okay, here we go. Disband. Oh, this is even better, honestly. Disband all. Wow. Okay, great. That's what I needed. Oh, awesome. So you can actually customize it. That's even better than in the old Pikmin games. For some reason, I thought that they had, like, removed that. It's like, why would they take that out? That's, like, the most essential Pikmin feature. Honestly? I sound... <laughs> I sound like the know-it-all kid <laughs> now. <laughs> why would they take that out? That's such an important feature in the game. Oh, my God. Oh, look. Okay, we can get that probably with the yellow Pikmin, but let's get everyone out because there doesn't seem to be any time limit right now. What are we on? Still the second day? I think we extended it by just, like, waiting around here a lot. Just banned all. Uh, left to- next to the left stick. Oh! Left stick click. I'm trying to think of what I actually want to do. Uh, there is one other control I want to be able to do. Because you should be able to kind of do the thing where you go like, da 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 I can't remember what it's like, but when, uh, he plays the bugle. That is useful. Open control guide. Oh, shortcut settings. And then you could go into... Oh, you can only use left stick click when holding your Joy-Con controller in horizontal mode. I wonder if there's another way to do it. Oh, wait a second. Oh, you can do it up there. Yeah, there we go. Mm. Oh, does only Alamar have that ability? Okay, valid. The only Alamar has that. I do kind of like the disband there. Okay, so yeah, then you can disband all, and then they all kind of go their separate ways. Okay, that is more or less what I wanted. Uh, let's see if the yellow Pikmin... So now I can disband them. Okay, I don't know if the dog is resistant to electricity, but he seems to just be standing there. And maybe send in the dog as well. <laughs> Everything is like so oddly, uh... Oh, wait a second. If I... Oh no, I accidentally touched those Pikmin. Oops, never mind. Right, so what is up here? I believe that this was the fiery... Yep, that's the fiery blowhog. Definitely not a place I would want to take yellow Pikmin anytime soon. Okay, come back with me. Although the dog, honestly, I feel like I could leave behind as well. Just another person to manage. Look, there he goes. He's setting himself on fire. Igniting himself. I won't allow it. No, Ochi. Smithers unleash the hounds. <laughs> Literally exactly this. I'm just gonna let him die. Learn your lesson like Pavlov's dog. Maybe you'll learn when you're dead. Sorry, I got a little morbid there. 
I, uh, I didn't mean it. Oh, I could totally throw the red Pikmin, Pikmin at it from over here, though. Oh my god, they're going to crush that one on the ground. Oh, what did they get over there? Is that like some sort of guitar pedal? What is this? Is it an eraser? What is that? What if they... <laughs> what if the Pikmin found something like more lewd? <laughs> oh, look, everyone. <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> it's an anchor. I don't know. <laughs> what would it be? <laughs> like, uh... I don't know. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know <laughs> what they would misperceive. Uh, let's see, um, a rod of massage. <laughs> Thank you. A rod of massage. <laughs> a massage chair. <laughs> yeah. A rod of lordly might. <laughs> I could totally see it happening. <laughs> uh, Pikmin currently outside with- yeah, okay, here we go. Good. Oh, look everyone, it's a, a microphone. <laughs> oh my god. That's the Pikmin, the lost levels. I think they used to have more stuff like that in Nintendo games. Where I always felt like- I, I guess the one thing that they do kind of believe in there more like suggestive is like zero suit samus stuff like that i'm trying to think of other characters like that um hmm. there we go i need to cross the pikmin back in you there leaf pikmin who is thinking about alamar all right now i'm feeling uh, like uh insecure about how they all want to be commanded by Olimar and not me. No, I am Rob, the unknown Pikmin character. No one knows my struggles. Validate them. All right, I need to disband these Pikmin. Oh, disbanding the Pikmin is so satisfying. Although, honestly, now it kind of makes me miss the Wii controls because it makes me realize just how bad like an analog stick is for controlling some of this stuff. Sadly. Yeah, we have the... This is the adult Pikmin DLC. <laughs> this one is rated M for mature. Right, I guess these fire Pikmin are going to have to destroy the... Oh, that's the source of the flames. That's actually kind of a cool obstacle. I like this. Ooh, what is this? Let's see how they do over there with that, and then I'm going to destroy the rest of this lava. Who- why is there lava underground? Okay, they're raising up what appears to be a like a sweet potato or something. I still don't know what it is. I'm- I sincerely think it might be a sweet potato. Or like a yam. Alright, so it is. So it is. It's a yam. A pancre- it could be someone's placenta. <laughs> Look everyone, a placenta! No, I think it is. I do think it's a, uh... I think it's a sweet potato. Okay, I have to be careful not to accidentally throw all of the yellow Pikmin to their untimely deaths. Now, look, it's another paralyzed man. Oh my god. What have they done? Okay, there we go. Get him. Oh, look, more yellow Pikmin. There we go. Pluck. Pluck. Although, nothing has really increased the amount of plucking. Oh, you know, I just realized why it may ultimately end up being useful to have more crew members. Because they can help me pluck yet even more people. I do, I gotta say, I also like it how they've made it into a two-player game. I'm not 100% positive. I think that might have been in Pikmin 3, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. I think we might have found another rescue officer. Okay, another human. Uh, Schnauz. Claimed treasure appraiser who's traveled extensively. He's unique. 
Techniques, unique techniques, were used to develop a leading appraisal AI. All right. As if we didn't have enough work finding Captain Alomar. In the All right, stop telling me about it. Well, actually, I feel like he just is. I'm, I do, I'll say it right now. I miss Alomar. It's not... It's like, it's like making a Mario game where he just never appears and Luigi is the only protagonist. Although Luigi is, like, kind of goofy enough in order to be his own protagonist. Luigi's Mansion, uh, Luigi's Pro Bass Fishing 2017, Luigi's, uh, um, uh, Adventure in Time, Luigi and Luigi Superstar Saga, Luigi's, uh, NFL Street, uh, Luigi 2000, oh my god! What is that? This is an interesting enemy. Look at that thing. Okay, it's definitely dead now. Or well, whatever. Look at them go. It's like some sort of, like, patty. Yeah, we will go in again for more red. Although, I... I miss my time. Sing Sizzling Floor now has been extinguished. Uh, okay, oh, we just found it from the other side. Oh wow, there were two ways out. Oh look, some sort of Krabby Patty. And like a, like a doo-doo donut. That could be like some sort of fecal matter over there though, which does make me a little bit nervous, honestly. I don't believe we even need to go for this anymore. I think we can just avoid that and then I will switch to these Pikmin and then I will get that hamburger, like some sort of jeweled hamburger. Honestly, that looks pretty gross. I wouldn't eat that. Even, especially, well, maybe the sweet potato, because it is an underground, like, root food, you know? What could that be? It could be the nasty patty. What console is this on? Uh, Nintendo Switch. Yeah, we're actually playing this on the Wii U. They've ported it to the... No, I'm, I'm, I'm of course lying. The Wii U, though. Probably the most inconvenient console name to say. Like, imagine how many times you have to repeat it. Especially if you were a kid and that was... I pity the kids who were raised on the Wii U and that was their first console name. Okay, what is this? The fizzy lifting drink again. Here, everyone, take some fizzy lifting drink. I do like that cutscene. A Wii U. No, not a, a waifu. Not a, uh, a Wii U. Like a Wii for the Nintendo, but Wii U. You know, like the console between the Wii and the Switch. No, I'm not trying to say ooh woo. It was like Nintendo's worst console ever, pretty much. I mean, it had some redeeming qualities. I didn't play much for it, though. Deceptive snack. I don't know what that is. It looks like some sort of, like, sushi cracker. Illumination goo. Dusty bed. Uh, oh, it's like an eraser. Daughter of the Earth. <laughs> cookie of nibbled circles. I like how it has the word cookie in it. SS chocolate. Oh, it's a, uh, oh, a macaroon. But, like, with jewels in it. And creatures. Okay, there we go. It could be a macaroon. Like a multicolored macaroon. Honestly, that's making me a bit hungrier than expected. Oh, the Virtual Boy still holds the title, but the Wii U was the... Was the Wii U really the second worst selling? That is a surprise. I mean, they've. I think the Switch was the best selling, so they followed it up with one of the best ones of all time. Yeah, uh, Pikmin is making me hungry to eat insects outside. I mean, can you think of how big a human would be? I would be like a huge spotty bulborb. I mean, I, as if I already didn't feel like a, a huge spotty bulborb. Okay, we found the three. Although I find it insulting that the blue Pikmin have been marginalized so as to play second fiddle to these new ice Pikmin. Although I do believe there are new glowing Pikmin. 
Um, there was something else out here that I'd forgotten about that I needed yellow Pikmin for. Now, I do actually know their abilities. Not a lot of people think that I know a lot about Pikmin, but I actually know... I might be one of the mo most foremost experts on Pikmin. Something is unstable here. I am, of course, otherwise known as the doctor of Pikmin. The professor of Pikmin. I don't really know that much, although there are a few facts about it that I remember fondly. It was so much fun to play it last year for a video. All right, come on, let's get done with this. Let's go, Pikmin, I don't have all day. I don't want your friends to die. Here we go, 28 out of 30, and I think the other ones are just those ice Pikmin. Zero will die. So far, no one has died under my benevolent command. Here we go. My generous bosom of of command, if you will. We will end the day. Oh, we do have the yellow onion now. What do you know? Wait a second, where is the yellow onion? It could be that they haven't really found their own onion yet. It's kind of odd having seeing them all like intermingling thus in that one onion. It's making me a little bit uncomfortable. I think I might throw up in a few uh, in a few seconds. Do you think Pikmin like are able to get along like all the different races of Pikmin, or do you think that they like, you know, in like humans have their own like set of stereotypes and unfair judgments about Pikmin of other of other ethnic groups? I like to think that they relate over like similar bonds of well uh like um pugnacious warlike behaviors and that perhaps like just as we as americans have found similar values in hard work and things like that uh, you know despite our differences perhaps this has helped the pikmin in their quest to achieve solidarity among us. Okay, we've got a lot of new people now. I am liking it. DJ Scallywag, also thank you very much for the three months. Sorry it took me so long there. I apologize. They bond over the yams. It could be that they share a common diet. All right, I don't want to hear anything about what you have to say. This man gives me access to something new. We don't really know. It is interesting, though, that you can just create more red Pikmin before the day has even begun. Let's see what you have to say. They are very cute. Thank you very much for rescuing me the other day. I'm really quite flustered. I only came here because I heard there were rare treasures to be found. Oh, so you did it for money. Okay. Oh, so we can actually view our treasures. Oh, that's kind of nice because I do like these. This is one of the funnier parts of the game. I have the vibrating rod of uh, dominance. Collect 50 treasures. <laughs> oh, we can see them all here. What is this one? A lesser mock bottom. A dusty bed. A path creator. <laughs> Whoever does that really does a great job with that writing, I gotta say. I was always kind of like blown away. They use great verbiage in the first game. Um, all right, what is in the lab? I guess we're probably going to need to use this. This isn't merely just a collection anymore. What is the lab? Components, inventions, science, raw materials. Maybe I could use it to get a bugle thing like uh, Alamar has. Oh, this is kind of cool. Whoa, I actually kind of like that. We could get a survey drone. Oh, this is very neat. Charging horn. Oh, great. Wait a second. Uh, do we have the bugle thing that... Ooh, this could be really useful. Oh, you do find... Oh, so you can play as the other characters, like Brittany. Or is that just a different customized character? No, never mind. Oh, scorch guard so that you don't die. 
Uh, scorch guard for the dog so that he doesn't die also and so that I don't die. <laughs> yeah, these would probably be useful. I think the survey drone looks interesting. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to get the treasure gate. Uh, yeah, that could be useful. I'm going to do that. This is actually a rather good feature. It's not very like Nintendo-like of them, but I still like it. Actually, I still like it. Scrummy bone. Oh, cool. So you can heal the dog. Emergency kit for yourself. Or a pick pick carrot. Ah, yes. Which is where the the term Pikmin came from. You actually can see the pick pick carrots. My word, they do actually look like the pick pick carrots from the home world of planet Hockatate. My pay-to-win micro... Maybe that's why it, it's making me think it's less Nintendo-like. Ah, yes. Microtransactions. Hmm. Okay, so now I... Yeah, let me go ahead and use these. Y for actions. Pack. Alright, I'm gonna figure... It, I'm honest, it's gonna take me less time to figure it out on my own than if I do it with the tutorials. I know I'm a dingus for that. Okay, but the pack, so what do we have? Okay, so we can use the survey drone. And there's probably a shortcut that'll let us do that. Ooh, look at me go! I can see everything from up here. That's very nice. Okay, it's a little bit counterintuitive, some of the controls, but... Honestly, that's kind of cool. Okay, and then what is the other one we can do? Um... What did he say about, uh, the, yeah, the charging horn? Uh, that was the one I probably should not have skipped there because I thought I could just get back into a menu. This is a really important thing just because I control the game like this. Uh, controls really quick. Uh, rush. Charging horn, charging horn, charging horn. I guess if I'm just selecting the Pikmin. I should not do that. Survey. Oh, there is a survey drone. Um, pack, 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 pack. Oh, pack would probably be a pretty useful one to have there. Pick up a secret castaway's treasure. Oh. Sniff out yellow. Oh, this is actually kind of interesting. Okay, I, I'm going to have to get the Pikmin with me, though, to actually see what's going on. Okay, let's continue exploring with Colin. His average, like, North American sounding name. I wonder what they are in Japan. Or maybe it is like similarly kind of oh, hey. simple names. I don't want, I, I maybe it's like I want him to be named like Snoofophilus or something like that. Or Olimar. Olimar sounds like alien, but also friendly. Like Ali and Lamar. I don't know. I wonder where they came up with Alamar. Oh, did I miss the dog skills? Hmm, sorry. Yeah, it is very cutesy. It's probably one of the few cutesy games I can play on this channel. I'm trying to think of similarly cutesy games. It does, it does fill a need in me, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, there's something, like, very heartwarming about playing this. Now, I've noticed the loading times are a little bit long. Although, not really much longer than they would have been on the original GameCube. Maybe I'm just used to playing games that load super fast. Okay. Uh, hang on a second. Oh, now the dog can jump. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. I should be able to... Ooh, this is great. Oh, okay, this could be useful. So now we can move around with the dog. Yeah, that, that's good, because... Yeah, Alright, we did this in the tutorial, I believe. We basically just got the demo content before... Oh, this is great! I can ride around on the dog? Oh, great. Let the animal cruelty ensue. Um, of course, I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, it'll happen later, probably, when the dog... <laughs> it probably is going to happen later when the dog jumps through fire or something like that. All right, let's say uh, we'll take 20 red Pikmin, 10... Oh, no, only 10, 10, 10. At least they keep things simple for you. Kind of interesting how you unlock the ability to bring more Pikmin with you. Well, I guess I could have just done auto. 
it is nice to get it suggested to you. Oh, look, they come along for a ride, so it doesn't even matter if the Pikmin are the inferior leaf-headed Pikmin, or if they're, like, the superior flower-headed Pikmin. I almost feel like I'm narrating the Sneetches here. Partial construction into a vital... Oh, turn the raw material into clay at the SS Beagle and you... Oh, that's interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and... I'll throw the Pikmin over here at this thing. I do enjoy being able to go around faster, though, I gotta say. So are you gonna... Okay, you can't really do anything when I give that to you. Let's go retrieve... Oh my god! Look at this! We could just send them over there! Look, he's putting doo-doo on it. Oh, this is gonna look great! Wow! Wow, look at them go. Oh, this is gonna be very exciting. Oh my god. It's like watching a bunch of gobstoppers go onto a... Like, onto more gobstoppers. Like the ones from Willy Wonka. I wonder if it's safe to be on the bridge. Look, they're doing it like... It's like the Chinese 2008 Olympics ceremonies. Honestly, that was the image that came to mind. <laughs> Like where they did the thing with the boxes, and up and down they went. Very well coordinated. Very nice. Hmm. So much fun. <laughs> yes, it was such a good time. Uh, oh, man. Uh. Oh, the dog actually bounces instead of running. Oh, look at that. I want to say that there was another... I'm going to zoom out here a little bit. I want to say that there was something else high up where I could throw the yellow Pikmin back here. Oh, 39 over here. This would be nice. Let me just throw the Pikmin beneath me with these. Okay, I guess I'm just going to have them all construct everything for this. Get more materials. More of you. Go. Okay, we're building a bridge. Everyone return. Return to the home. Tackling cauldron. Okay, at least it does tell you 100% on the areas. That is nice. Okay, we have nothing left. We've run out of raw materials. There they are. <laughs> I feel like a commander now, though. Hmm. I'm gonna need my Pikmin back. Can you get, like, a little mini-map up here? I believe you can, yeah. Okay, this is important. Oh, cool. Discovered caves. Nice. Okay, so I believe that one was cleared, right? What was that? It looked like it was going to lock onto it. Uh, ZL. Oh, interesting. So, oh, that's actually really useful. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Okay, I wanted to get this thing. Okay, so then you can just press ZL. Ooh, I like that. So now I'm oriented properly, and I can get the Pikmin to come with me back there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's gather up these other Pikmin. Come with me. I need to use you. We're not just uh, using them for our benefit because they're smaller than us. It's also because they're not as smart as us, okay? Don't question why we're using the Pikmin. Or you will be banned from the stream. Uh, of course, I am kidding. I will explain why I am subjugating them at your, uh, at your questioning. Though they do enjoy being submissive. You can't. You can't uh, mix that one up. The Pikmin, they don't li It's like uh, Dostoevsky's Grand Inquisitor. You know, they like to be... It actually benefits them. Here we go. What the hell? I was certain that this clock would have... It feels like I'm doing something wrong. Like this should so obviously work. Yes, I'm throwing them directly at it. Right, never mind. 
I guess we won't get anything come out of that. Now, let's see if we can get them to this other onion, though. Okay, fantastic. Good. At least you can do something right, you idiots. Why am I being so mean to them? Thank you, Pikmin. Well, what would it sound like if I were grateful for these Pikmin? Thank you. I love it when my smaller friends perform menial tasks for me. <laughs> what? Oh, charging at the wall. Which wall? Um, oh yeah, this wall. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I wonder if that'll work. Good idea. Let me see if I can rush at it. Uh, no, unfortunately that did not work. I was thinking that might work too. Can I just, like, weigh it down with a bunch of them? Nah, they all die. I mean, they all slip. Whoops. Not, not necessarily die, but maybe. Um, I think, <coughs> excuse me. Oh my god. Just getting over this cold, I really don't sound too particularly good still. So then this is that little bridge. It's another area we haven't really got to yet. Oh, we still haven't really gotten this uh, cave cleared yet, have we? Where was our original landing spot? I want to say it was over here. Oh, and then we had one of those things on that side. One of these over here. I'm trying to see where we're supposed to go next. Maybe here is going to be the next one. We're already kind of looking that way, so let's just let it be. <coughs> oh, charge the clock wall. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, let me try that. Oh, cool. And, oh, that's actually how we get more Pikmin out. <gasps> let's try that. Oh, that totally worked. You're a genius. Thank you, cast a meme. And thank you, Bunny Mumble. I totally missed that before. And Small Poppy. I did not, uh, I did not expect- See, that is, like, actually a rather difficult puzzle. There was nothing. Actually, that was rather difficult, and, um, it's a me- <laughs> Why am I saying this? <laughs> actually, I just didn't see it. <laughs> and now I'm feeling bad, so I'm saying, it must have taken a genius with a J to solve that problem. No, thank you. That was actually rather smart. I'm curious if you thought that up yourself or if you've seen it. <laughs> that used to always happen to me in The Legend of Zelda. Like, oh, you're supposed to dig in the dirt. I never would have expected that. And then, like, just totally new puzzles I never would have thought to solve certain ways. Actually, you're a genius. Kind of nice that you can rush a little bit faster. Okay, so you can... Oh, no, he does kind of, like, slow down. He slows his roll as he goes. Starting to get used to the camera a little bit more. I'm liking this a little bit better now. Let me send them out. I'm liking this. I'm like some sort of grand general. Hmm. There's more over there, some sort of button, or like a coin. There's something else that... Uh, Pikmin really seems to me... Did... Does anyone know how this game was inspired? I'm genuinely curious. Oh, by bug collecting, right? Didn't you say... I didn't know that. Because I want to say, wasn't it The Legend of Zelda that was, like, inspired by, I want to say, Miyamoto's, like, exploring around in the forest as a kid? Or something like that. I want to say that's how The Legend of Zelda was inspired. But... It's not perfectly clear to me in memory. Oh no, it's uh... Oh, I hate those things. I can't remember what you call them, but I hate them. I don't like them. Uh, like a glittering... S uh... S uh... Beetle. Some kind of... Some kind of beetle. Yeah, like him playing around in the garden at his home. I mean, to me, I remember when I was a kid, I enjoyed, like, collecting things, you know? Like, that was one of my hobbies as a child, so I would collect, like, a paper clip, or, like, a button, or, like, a... Even weird stuff, like a gum wrapper, or, like, an old used-up lighter uh, that somebody had used for cigarettes on the ground at the park. And to me, that was, like, really exciting. Like, look at all this... People left all this great stuff on the ground! You know, and that gave me excitement as a child. 
And I think that Pikmin... Shut up, I wasn't weird. Uh, <laughs> but you were weird because you weren't doing it. Um, whoops, I effed up. I effed up. Come back. Come back, my children. Here we go. Get that thing out, some sort of astronaut coin. Okay, good, we've got another area here. And now I can... Uh, the orientation controls are pretty good, and that is very useful for not getting one of them killed. <laughs> that is very useful for not getting killed. <laughs> Alright, we might as well get a couple more pellet posies right here. And then... People have cleared out most- I'm actually surprised at how much- Wait a minute! No! I don't want to send you all to their death! What have I done? Well, what is happening in there? I think if I just send all of them in there? Well, okay, there we go. It was just a matter of sending more lives at the problem. And then they- uh, you know, that spared more of the human life in question. Here we are. Good. Okay, this looks like a very significant tree. Maybe not. Never mind. Okay, we could move the base. We'll do that in a moment. I think I'll let them make their last deliveries. Oh, I think that's, uh... That's another one of our humans, right? What are you doing over there? Just kind of... Yeah, what are you doing? I'm definitely gonna need blue Pikmin before I get over there, though. Oh, or now I could jump. And jumping hasn't even been factored into the whole equation. Pikmin is one of the most complex games ever created. There's a river behind your house, and it was connected to a dirt plot. A home of built a muddy bill. Plastic frogs and called it froggy bill. Yeah, like, there's something so interesting about miniature worlds to young children, you know? Maybe it's because you are so small when you're a child. That it's like even smaller things are interesting to you. Okay, I need to turn around and go over here, because I think that another onion part is going to be... A lot of this stuff will be useful to me. Am I going a little bit faster here, I think? I think I might be. Now let's bring out the camera. I'm going to go over to the map again. Okay, I could get that if I fix that paper bag. Uh, there's this thing up here, which I'm not going to be able to fix. And then there's this crap over here. Hmm. Really struggling, honestly. Yeah, the whole idea... Yeah, creating your own little world, maybe, as a kid. Okay, don't get on top of it. You are not smart. Let me do the thinking. No, oh, that didn't really work either. Oh, no, I need to put them atop the bag. I stand corrected. I just need the fat ones to weigh it down. The ice ones do look rotund. Ooh, finally! Yellow onion! But... I wonder if that gives us more yellow Pikmin, or have they just consolidated all of the Pikmin into one onion? That, like, perhaps they decided that there were just too many Pikmin that they'd made. This onion certain... How would you know? You aren't even here! You're just, like, zooming me. Like we're still in the pandemic or something like that. No, get out here! I'm in the outdoor world over here. Man, all of this wireless communication is Thanks really starting to piss me off. Oh, wait a second. I'm being... ambushed. There we go. The sheer wigs and sheer grubs. They are a nefarious type. I have 16 now. Should be good. Hey, Sadder Panda 77 Thank you very much for the two months. I have to head out. Hey, DJ Scallywag, thanks very much for coming out. Appreciate you. Mush all the Pikmer, Pikmin together. I don't know, that's like asking, could you mush all of the people in the world together to create a, like, a really good human? You know, like, all the skills and talents of all the humans combined. Smarter and more athletic than all of the other humans. I'm guessing probably not. Although it is Pikmin. So perhaps... Get iced. Chill out. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
That might have been one of the funniest jokes I've told. All three. It is nice being able to jump off of a ledge, because sometimes, like, when you see stuff. Although, I will say that dogs, like, in real life, they do take falling damage. Um, unfortunately, there's also friendly fire is on with dogs. Yeah, friendly fire, falling damage. I'm trying to think of what other forces they, they succumb to. Hmm. There's clipping. I mean, clipping is, is turned off in real life. Yeah, like if real life were a game. <laughs> uh, Alright, I think it's too close to night. We might as well just, like, sit by the ship. Overall, um, it's about what I expected, I think. Pikmin 4. I mean, like, I, I feel like Nintendo games kind of defy getting ratings somehow. I'll just get some pellet poses before the end of the day. Uh... I don't really care. I usually just send the red Pikmin to their deaths anyway. I'll take more red. It's fine. We're gonna need them at some point. I'm just gonna throw their lives at the problem anyway. Overall, I mean, I, I think it's like I expected way too much story at the beginning. I, I don't really like that. I'm not insane about that. Although I think, like, in terms of mechanics, yeah, I like it. it it's good. It's good so far. I'm gonna end the day. I gotta say, I'll, I have a temporal mechanism, a perforated raft, and a satellite ship. Man, all of the same charm from the first game kind of remains. Although I do feel like they've added a few new mechanics. I feel like for the most part, it's it's about the same reasons as I would have they would have uh, followed up on Pikmin 2, which I don't I don't dislike. I do like it, and I'm glad that the franchise is still around. Some games like, uh, isn't it Super Mario Odyssey, like, was very inventive in its new mechanics and stuff like that? I still have yet to play that. I mean, I thought Super Mario Galaxy, for example, was no, Nintendo, no. like, really, really reinventing the whole platforming genre. Like, what an insane idea. I just want to see if we can do anything else here. Ochi's skills. I, I mean, I do like the dog mechanic. I think that simplifies and, like... Makes everything... Oh, what? So he can carry things of, like, greater weight or something like that? Increasing his level. His strength makes him better at physical tasks. I, I think if we could get him faster, that would be nice. Heal himself like some sort of mage dog. Super Mario Sunshine was like... Yeah, they've always come up with, like, very interesting ideas. Okay, so he has four on his pup drive. Hmm. Rush level two. I think buff is probably going to be pretty useful here. I think we could just max out buff. That makes him pretty useful all around. I think heal might also be good, though, too. Just because he really isn't too smart and I don't want him to die. <laughs> you know, like, he doesn't have any healing at all to begin with, so there is that. And I don't want to waste my time on trying to heal him. Because he's he's really just not all that smart. It's okay. He's, he makes up for it in love. In, like dog love and snoot contact cheese on bread also thank you very much for the prime i appreciate it cheese on bread hey thank you Ali. yeah i know it's a weird thing i got two colds into oh i like this with the multicolored onion the singular onion it was weird i got two colds in two weeks i woke up in the second week with exactly the same symptoms as the first week. Like, the onsetting sy symptoms. I don't think it was just one extensive cold. Because I started getting, like, swallowing pain. Then I got, like, muscle fatigue, aches, and, like, shivers all at once. Which is usually my onset symptoms for a cold. And I was like, jeez, like, I feel like I just went through this just last week. And, it, like, lo and behold, I had gotten exactly the same cold again. And it was just... I was like, that was weird. <laughs> So now I'm almost through the second, hopefully two of two colds. Unless if I'm experiencing some sort of like Bill Murray Groundhog Day illness where it just keeps coming back, which would be like honestly pretty annoying. 
Um, but if that is what my life is going to be from now on, then whatever. Like, you just gotta live with it. Oh, this is the most satisfying of moments, when the Pikmin emerge from their womb-like shelter in the onion, and they climb on the back of me, and I live out the dream of being like a mother that I never was. Like a brother from another mother. But it's actually, um... But I'm actually an alien. I don't know where I'm going with this. I can't formulate thoughts right now. Um, okay, so this was the original starting area. This is a lot of the puzzles that we haven't solved. Yeah, now we come to... Now we have reached, in the words of Patrick Starr, an impasse. We have solved all of the first Pikmin puzzles. You know, the obvious ones that were there right in front of us. And now the time has come in which we must solve a new, new riddles and mysteries. And it looks like there's Olimar right over there, and his head is covered in some sort of red substance. That's disgusting. Okay, I'll have the Pikmin help one another. We must... Hang on a second, let's see if we get the, uh... Castaways. Um... Hmm. I kind of want to use my pack to use the, like... Yeah, let's use the drone on him. Here, I mean, I'm not targeting you for a missile strike, but... What the hell? His entire face is covered in hair. He looks like some sort of fruit now. Oh, and he's looking at the body of a dead man. It looks like they're contemplating whether they should eat it. Yeah, UAV online. I'm gonna call in a, an airstrike. Hey, actually, this is the new Pikmin multiplayer mode. We made it versus, and you can, um, you can fight people with it. Oh, this is bound to be very, very satisfying. I do like it when they bring the chocolate over to the chocolate bridge. Oh, this is really nice. Look at that. Oh, I wonder what they'll do with it. <laughs> oh, look, they've made the pebbles into graham crackers. And then they put the... They set the graham crackers at the edge of the bridge. And the bridge comes down. And then that makes the way ready for us. There's more treasure to be had over there, but this is perhaps the most important of events. Oh, wow. Red alert, I see something. Okay, this cutscene I want to know about. Who is that next to them? Doesn't look like any of our rescue. Is this Alam? Does he grow hair on his face? Oh, no, it's an imposter. Dude. An imposter. Sassy Baka. Your Pikmin cannot join you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. We have a, a, a fight. This is actually kind of interesting. I like this. A mini game in the midst of everything. No. <laughs> yeah, what are they going to do him, to him in their dungeon? <laughs> oh, my God. What sort of unspeakable acts will be had down here? Down the glory hole again. Dandori battle. Oh, so this is one of those fights where you have to try to create more Pikmin or something like this. Okay, this is sort of, I'm going to presume, like the multiplayer mode that they created for Pikmin, I think. At least we can figure that out later. Okay, so this is kind of cool. I like the environment changes they've got. Okay, so that might be the real Captain Alomar there. Who knows? And they've like, oh my god, they've just absorbed him and pooped him out. Oh no, this is like that episode of Adventure Time where they everyone is turning into like the squishy version of themselves. Or what is that? They will thrive. Do you believe you will not s need the leaves? I will test your abilities to see if this is true. Oh, or is this the bad ending of Pikmin? Dandori battle. I've provided the Pikmin you will need. Support them in the challenges ahead. Okay. Okay, I'm assuming that this is going to be extremely easy. Okay, so he is... Oh my god, I'm not even playing as him, but... But I'm assuming that we're just supposed to be making more Pikmin. 
Man, it's so disorienting to do this in split screen when there's not actually a second player. Although I gotta say that is admittedly cool to have an AI playing in split screen while you're doing this. I'm pretty confident in my ability to throw Pikmin, so I'm feeling good about this. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna need more. Okay, I need these ones. Oh no, we need to steal his crap if we want to do better. Now we should probably get everything away from his base. Can I perhaps call his Pikmin over to my shelter? This is actually rather difficult, I feel like. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, oh no, he's already taken that one. Get that tomato! <laughs> what the hell? And they've even put enemies in here, too. Okay, we've already got that one. No, we got the tomato! That's our tomato. Can I have my people, like, sabotage him? Uh, hang on a second. Wait, I need more of you. Get back here. They could never get that strawberry in time. We need this last one. Stay away! Oh no, you are going for my strawberry, you... Jerk! Okay, fine, you can get that thing. I don't need it. This is a good match, huh? Because you're a loser. Hang on a second. Get that other strawberry. Nope, it's already mine. It's already mine. Think again. Uh, I don't know what's over there, but I already got two of the tomatoes. I don't think that he could possibly win this fight. <laughs> look, look, another tomato is ours. They should totally have done the split screen in the other orientation here. This is very confusing. Okay, just get more. This, these are low-hanging fruit. Oh, fiery blowhog. Okay. Oh, no, what is he getting over there? Oh, no, I, we can't possibly get that back in time. Uh, never mind. Yeah, I bet you it's even worse on handheld, right? When you have no room on the screen for that. All right, it's okay. We'll get the lime. We will need that lime. And get that other strawberry, too. Oh, my God, he's caught up so much by getting all of that golden treasure that I didn't even think about. Well, okay, good. I'm going to get the apple as well. This is just this is such a ridiculous game mode. Why does this even exist? He's actually very good at it, too. I'm not gonna lie. Although it is testing my skill. I feel like it would just do better by, like, depriving them of it. This is a rather good game mode, though. I think this could be kind of fun to play with a friend. This would be legitimately fun to play with a friend, not gonna lie. Second, I can't- I don't have time for that. Okay, I do have time for another strawberry, though. It's very, very stressful, this game mode, though. You will never come close to human intelligence. Let's get that. The fiery blowhog. That. Man, that gold really nearly cost us the day. Okay, that was way too many than this one. I guess I could have left the dog available, but no, nah, I didn't really think of that in time. No, okay, I think we're winning by so much. There's no way we could lose anymore. Although I will say that that was actually rather demanding. I do like how they've switched up the color palette, too. I think I can just watch and wait here, though. Alright, I'm good. I won. Oh, is he getting more gold? Yeah, he very nearly killed us at the gold there. I didn't know that was an available treasure. One by at least 30. Okay, I got silver. I'm really just in a struggle session right here. The strength of your Dandori power is magnificent. I will return this one to you. I'm guessing that's not Alamar then. Okay, he's like a doppelganger of Alamar then. Who was that? Yeah, who was that? I, okay, I'm liking it better now. You know, a couple of mini games. it's decent for variation. I still think we're kind of seeing, like, the base Pikmin formula. But, I mean, what did you expect? It was going to be a simulation. You were going to be commanding a bunch of all-imposter. Oppenmar. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. 
Okay, we found some other guy. Um, okay, here we go. Confirm. Okay, bring this huge man. Oh no, I thought he needed 15. He needed only three. Wow, he actually has a purple leafy head. All right. Um, honestly, a little odd. A little, a little, making me a little bit uncomfortable. But now we got to figure out this thing. I have no idea how we're gonna get this down. I don't think you can re- I agree. If only the Pikmin could be thrown higher. Wait a minute, the yellow Pikmin could get up there? Oh, I suppose we need to find the handle for the other one now, too. Possibly the yellow ones. That would make sense of the yellow handle. Is this... Who is this Bushman? Error. Home planet. PNF 404. Unable to read data. Maybe this is somebody else who needs to be, like, de-leafed. Piece of raw material transport. Okay, we got more raw materials. Um, man. Where do you think the dog comes? I'm pretty sure the dog... The, uh, guys, did you play Pikmin 3? I actually... Pikmin 3 was the one I didn't play. I played Pikmin 1. I played Pikmin 2. I played a little bit of 3. I liked it. The dog wasn't in Pikmin 3, right? This is a new thing. I kind of like it. Honestly, if it could move slightly faster, I'm, although... There might have been more levels for that that I just didn't see. Uh, I feel like it would be... Honestly, everything is amazing. It's 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 kind of like finding Epona in the Zelda games, you know? Like, uh... Oh, it was? Oh, he wasn't in 3. Okay, I thought he was. My bad, thank you. Um, hang on a second. We need to disband everyone. Yeah. Get over here. I it used to be in I want to say one that if you okay we could okay we could just disband them here. Whoops. There we go. Okay. Now I've got the yellow ones. Uh oh, there we go. Nice lock on. I was thinking, how the hell am I going to? Oh no! I just threw one to his death. Oh, a giant pumpkin. Oh, yes, this is a huge pumpkin, guys. Wow. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> Look at them struggling to lift it, but they can't. Let's just leave them there. No, that wouldn't help me accomplish my goals, really. 39 out of 30. Oh, yeah, the one is just down there, right? As much as I'd love to watch these Pikmin carry a pumpkin back, I think I do have one... Wait a second, where is that other guy? Is he still on the ground beneath me? Let's see, where did he go? Honestly, I lost that other Pikmin. Uh, shame on me. I don't know where he went. You can sometimes see where the Pikmin are on the map, but... Oh, he returned to the ship. How oddly generous of the game to have him. It used to be that the Pikmin were just stranded out there and then they would be left. For no one. Oh, did he? Oh, you're right. He did. He got one of the pieces of sugar. Oh, that could be sugar. I hadn't really thought of that. I thought they were like gemstones. Like we found the house of the richest man who was just concealing a bunch of diamonds in his backyard, you know. Probable money laundering. Sparklium collected. 1,500. Really great. Good job, Ochi and Rob. With all the energy you've collected, we can continue our restoration of the SS Shepherd's radar. Um, you know, I'd say the one thing that I, I find is a little bit like... Nintendo games kind of make me into, like, a completionist. You know what I mean? Like, you want to collect all the parts or something? It would kind of be nice to know, like, how far along we are in our journey. Like, how much treasure do we need? In order to, although I think that this game has a lot more variety than the first game. Ooh, look, there we could get the uh, the blue Pikmin. I'm wondering how we could do that from here. Oh, I bet you that we go through one of these portals. That's got to be it. Okay, hang on a second. We just got to figure out what this thing is right here. Are these more pellet posies? Okay, those are just pellet posies then. 
Um, we don't really have a map key here. Okay, those are other enemies. Uh, we have to go to either here or probably here, I'm thinking now. Like, there's got to be some way up onto this thing. I don't see how else we could do this. Uh, yeah, let's go back there and see if we could find a way on, because there's not much else going on over here. So we'll go to the left. Oh, level completion on the top right of the map. Oh, that is nice. We get the 44%. That, yes, very valid. Very valid, thank you. I'm guessing right here we could... Oh, you know, we could just jump with the dog. I totally forget this, that we are, like, capable of jumping. Yeah, like, look at me go. Oh my god, I, I just totally forgot that that existed. <laughs> That's so easy. Um, how did I miss that? Oh god. Yeah, like, I just kind of forget that that exists. Because that wasn't in any of the other games. That looks harder to get. Um, let's just see if we can go to this place. Because I think this is going to be where we get the blue Pikmin. And blue Pikmin are very good to have around. Blue Pikmin are water resistant. They are the only ones with mouths. Which was why when, you know, we were positing our theories on... <coughs> excuse me, the diet of Pikmin. Perhaps it is only the blue Pikmin who do the eating, because they are the only ones with mouths, after all. His jumps do seem a little bit like... Oh, well, and I can't actually jump into it. Industrial maze. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Ooh, nice. Okay, so a maze. Right, let's do the uh, suggestions. Okay, no ice Pikmin required, I suppose. Potentially, potentially they might eat through their skin. I've never actually theorized about that, but you've got a valid point. I always thought it was kind of weird that the that the blue Pikmin had mouths. Uh, guess 018, thank you very much for the raid. Hope you guys had a good stream. Oh, what were you guys doing? We're checking out some Pikmin 4. This isn't supposed to happen. Oh, cheese all the way over there. Okay. Um, okay, so this is like another one of those kind of mini games. I did find that last mini game. I'm not going to lie. I found it thrilling. Sometimes I feel like this could be kind of like a diversion. Okay, so don't fall down. Oh my god, you could actually fall off the edge of the stage? Okay, I definitely won't be able to get over to that. Uh, yep, I am uh, I am stuck already. Am I completely stuck? Can I throw the Pikmin over, though? Did I just utterly fail the puzzle to begin with? I think I did. Is there any way out of this? I'm soft locked now. <laughs> oh no, this is like the least. If I were a younger child, I would just panic here. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Nope, that's not gonna help. Oh yeah, you could swap the Ochi. Oh yeah, how do you swap the Ochi again? Tooltip said to dash. Wait a second. What have I done? I should have read. Oh, well, there is that. Oh, yep. Okay, I'm gonna play as the dog. Okay, I am stuck. I am a dog. I am just a simple dog. Oh, I know what I can do. Ooh. Oh my god, let me tell you that was really satisfying. Okay, so now we can switch back to Alamor. Thank you. I mean, Rob. Me. Here we go. Okay, united at last. Good, okay, we are on the dog again. Good. Good. Oh, I have to dismount the dog. Wouldn't it be great if you could ride a dog? I think when I was a kid, I always never understood why more people didn't ride dogs. Because when you're a kid, you're like the right size for riding a dog. You know? <laughs> like, it just seems like the right thing to do. Hmm. Have I messed up completely now? 
I I'm trying to see if there's a way to just like totally screw myself, and I think I've already done it. I think I need to do this. Yeah, like, cause, well, when you're a kid, you're like, why don't more people... You know, like, kids are... Like, a child could ride on a dog. And that would be okay. I think we got to the other side. Did I totally mess up here, though? I think the only thing that I messed up was that I can't... Whoops. Uh, here we go. Rush. Oh, cool. I can just run fast enough. Okay, here we go. This does actually work. Going up the down escalator sometimes works. <laughs> I wonder if you could just keep jumping. Nope, that doesn't work. Alright, that did work. Everything is so counterintuitive. Oh, wait, I don't have to do it for that. Whoops, never mind. There we go. Okay, don't fall off. We found, like, a piece of a puzzle or something like that. That seems obviously useful. And then the rest is, like, a copper puzzle piece. Oh, no. Okay, we need to find a way to clear the path. Oh, no! Uh, exactly the thing that we just didn't take care of a second ago. Um, I will dismount the dog. I think I'm going to go up here myself. Oh, the dog can also come up that thing. Never mind. Oh, that was my rush ability. Never mind. Okay. Here we go. Ride on the dog again. Okay, good. There they go. Those Pikmin need us. Look, <laughs> there they go. <laughs> that is kind of funny. All right, we'll just leave them over there. <laughs> uh, I love this game. Oh my god. It's just always so goofy. I don't think I need all of the treasure. I don't. I don't feel like I need it all. But we do have those grates over there. Um, let's see. Can anything else be done? Um, I think we want to get more of the treasure from over there. Hang on a second. So let's just do this. And then we get the Pikmin to get that what seems to be like a tech deck dude. You guys remember Tech Deck? It's unfortunate that this grate is here. It's more like a not grate. Get it? <laughs> oh my god. Because it's not... Oh wait, it's an... An F board? Why would they use F? That just sounds dirty. <laughs> if this is an F board. What the people do? Yeah, you guys remember tech decks? Like tech deck dudes? Oh, it's a fingerboard. <laughs> I thought it was something else. <laughs> nope. Don't. Don't ask me what I thought it was. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> we played with different toys as a kid. There we go. It's a fingerboard. <laughs> it's. Is definitely a fingerboard. All right, there it goes. There it goes. Uh, I think we'll just get our Pikmin back at the end of this. All right. Okay, now where do we get the blue Pikmin? Enter. Here we go. Yeah, Tech Deck dudes. Guys, Tech Deck dudes were like very much uh, in vogue, uh, as they say. Uh, for a while, tech deck dudes were all the rage. Yeah. There were people who were real enthusiasts about tech deck. You know. Like, people would learn to do a kickflip with a tech deck. Stuff like that. And the dudes looked like thumbs. That was tech deck dudes. It was a fad. It was like, uh... There were a lot of other toys like this when I was a kid. Like, there were Mighty Beans... There was a there was some dumbass crap you could buy, um, and I bought it all. I bought it all. I thought these would be like most exciting collectible toys. Maybe it's that Pikmin just kind of brings me back to that. How long does that stay there for? This is a very generous platform. Although I do like how they've 
You know, they've kind of combined Pikmin with platforming here. I like that they've added in uh, jumping. Like, I'm surprised at how much I like it. Okay, take that. I'm not sure how an egg is going to help us. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something here. How the heck are we supposed to get over there? Okay, there's a toy train over there. Uh, I gotta figure this out. Oh no, there's more to be had over here. Alright, let me go ahead and grab these things. Hey, Lonester86, thank you very much for the six months of subbing. Appreciate it. Yes, Beyblades. Well, those were banned at my school when I was a kid because someone got a cut from one. And it was no laughing matter. Who gets cut by a Beyblade? That kid ruined Beyblades for everyone else in the school. Unfortunately, I never really got into Beyblade as a child. Oh, I've moved the, uh, the obstacle somehow. Okay, here we go. Good. That's taken care of. Now I can get more yellow Pikmin onto this. Okay, I think we've figured it out. And what's there at the very end? Okay, then we find the, the dead man at the end. Yeah, someone got cut and there was bleeding. Okay, don't laugh. It wasn't funny. Nothing funny about getting cut on a Beyblade. <laughs> I think it, honestly, it probably was just annoying to have a bunch of kids. <laughs> I can totally see that. <laughs> like, as an adult, just kind of hating that. Like, why are these children <laughs> playing with these things and bringing them to school? Some kid would probably get upset. I lost it. <laughs> it's gone. Mine is gone. I don't know how we're going to get that. Uh, some magnifying glass there. Okay, take him. There we go. Good. Uh, I don't think I can do much else here. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. It's lucky that I didn't lose my head on the fan. Look at that. Oh, we can move the base here. Okay, that's great. How do we do it underground? Oh, whatever. Fine. Get up that toy locomotive. And then let's get this. Okay, bring him over there. And then, as for this last thing... Off, yes, battle tops can... Oh, off-brand Beyblades. Yeah, well, you banned Bay Beyblades, but you didn't ban battle tops. Battle tops? Yeah, that does sound like you could seriously... Like, if you put any type of blade on the ends of those things... <laughs> I mean, it was a fun toy. <laughs> trying to think of other stuff like that. Yeah, there was a lot of that. I don't know, that was a fun childhood. I think the only thing that they had were, like, fidget spinners. Fidget spinners came into, uh, popularity again. Anyway, this just reminds me of so much, like, nostalgia. There's so much nostalgia about Nintendo games, too, you know? Like, they're almost always nostalgic for whatever they were in the past. Though Nintendo is a company that... I, I never realized this until I looked it up and one of my friends told me. Like, Nintendo has been a, around for a really long time. Like, they used to sell, uh, basically trading cards. Like, they've been around for like a hundred years or something like that. I mean, video games are only kind of like a recent endeavor of Nintendo. I have to look it up. I mean, don't quote me on that. I, they used to sell, like, they were very, uh, collectible, whatever it was they were selling. Yeah, trading cards and origami, something like that, right? Like, okay, here we go. Great adventure series. Alright, so we found, uh, memory fragment. <laughs> Personal injury plank. <laughs> yeah, that's accurate. Stately rubber cutie. <laughs> Unlimited locomotive. Detective's Truth Seeker. <laughs> uh, everything has such a great, like, epithet. Uh, ooh, these are worth a lot. And Great Adventure series. Okay. I don't know what that was from. Investigation complete. Uh, yeah, what do, what do you call that? There was, like, a, it's a special name. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Pe what is it? Pachenko Machines? That, yeah, Pachenko. Or was that 
Yeah, they had like they had all these other collectible things. I can't remember what it was, but yeah, like video games weren't their their main thing. I mean, I think it was before video games existed. And then they were like, yeah, let's do video games. That's cool. They existed before. I try to quiz you on my Nintendo history. I don't really know very much about them. I think that's the most interesting fact. It's a timely voice crack right there. Uh, oh, ah, darn, you know what? I'm just realizing that... Okay, I totally messed that up. I thought that these grates led into one another. Okay, then I just messed that up. Then there's, like, some type of challenge that you get there underneath each of them. Um, let's go ahead and look at the lake area to see if we can do any of that. Otherwise, I do think that there was one other bridge that we had to finish off. I think we should have enough, like, treasure now. Let's just go send a bunch of them in here. I know it looks like I'm sending them to their deaths, but remember they were... Yeah, they're fine. Ignore that. You really don't get very much of it, though. It's like two treasure for that. Sending that many people in potentially to their death. Whatever. All right, we can use it for materials for the next area we're going to go. So I think that this area is not going to be as useful to us. Whoops. Uh, did someone just go in? Please don't tell me they did. Whatever. If they do, then they're dead. No, there's no Pikmin under there. Okay, so we're fine. Um, hmm. I think the game pauses itself when you do this. Huh. Alright, so we've got to get 15 over here. I guess we're going to need to rely on the blue Pikmin for that. Because there's definitely a blue Pikmin onion over here. Somewhere. Where is that? Yeah, there. There is the blue Pikmin onion. See it? Right there. We'll go dead. Close-up view of it. Alright. If we want to get to that, though, we need something else. These giant watering... This is actually a very nice way to see the whole level. Okay, what kind of handle is on that? I'm guessing we could go over there, figure out that puzzle, then we come over here, figure out this thing. And then there's more exploration to be- Oh my god, what the hell? This is huge! Oh, there's probably a boss fight up there or something. That would explain such a long path. I'm sorry for making you all so dizzy right now. Alright, well, whatever. You're dizzy. So what? Okay, we need to go that- that away. Oh yeah, and there was the giant red ball up there as well. I forgot about that. How could I? Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, we've gotta get that thing down, so we gotta go bring the yellow Pikmin over yonder. At least I think it was the yellow Pikmin. Oh, whoops. Nope. Um. Oh no, actually that won't work. Oh no, you know what I could do? Oh, I can't climb it for some reason. That is odd. Can I dash over it? No, that's also odd. Huh. How am I gonna get over there? That is tricky. Uh, you know, I was a little worried I would get like stuck on some of these obstacles, but I feel like that it is kind of nice to like play it with your Twitch chat. <laughs> it's like, uh, uh, guys, how do I do this? And then just a bunch of people have like a brilliant idea. Oh wait, here we go. Yeah, I could totally do it over here. Oh, they're like singing. Man, I would be so afraid if... What if one of them got trapped in there and crushed in half? Alright, well, whatever. They're fine. Um, I think that this is another bridge we have yet to journey over. Okay. Um... No. No, wrong way, wrong way. We didn't do it right. Um, there it is. Okay, how do we get up there again? Oh, we gotta go around the other side. I gotta say, that drone is pretty useful. Can I just lock that to something? Um, hang on a second. Controls, shortcut settings. Is drone, is drone an option? Drone. Can I go straight to drone? Gear and skills. 
Oh, great. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, that's not what I wanted. I know, I've messed it up. Shortcut settings. Uh, mm. Missions. No, I don't really want that. Pack. I think pack is what I'm looking for. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's a quick swap to the drone. Fantastic. Oh, was it the top option that I didn't see? Hang on a second. Oh. Oh, the drone. Like a quick swap to the drone. Oh, that is great. Okay, so I can instantly swap to the drone with one button. Thank you. I feel like the president of the... <laughs> Oh my god. Uh. Alright, we're getting over there, and then I'm pretty sure that that giant wheel means there's gonna be a boss fight or something. Like, there's no way that thing's just a regular wheel. No way. And then we'll probably encounter that guy in the next... In the next oh my god, here they come. It is very exciting to watch them build. That would actually be like a very spiritually fitting end to our journeys. Get to the first boss fight. Now the boss fights in this game are like ridiculously inventive. They're very fun. Um, like it's always like some sort of strange centipede that goes round and round. And then he exposes his red bottom. And then that's the vulnerable moment where you can, you know, outsmart him. And I just always feel great by the time I'm, I'm done fighting them. About myself, about my level of intelligence, about the fight itself, about my having done good and made an impact in the world, even. It just feels great. I think that's... Oh, that was the first Pikmin 3 boss. I think that's all I played of Pikmin 3. Um, it looks like a boss. Okay, maybe it's not a boss. I corrected. It's just more soil. Well, there's gotta be one somewhere around here. Uh... Jump, why don't you... Oh, it does work. I was like, I'm just not able to jump onto this. Okay, more challenges. Hmm. A new cave. Hmm. More down here. Look this way. Hmm. Aw, I didn't actually get another boss fight. Maybe I'll do another cave. The caves have been kind of inventive. Although I do feel like I, it would have been fun to encounter another boss fight here. I also didn't want to, like, spoil the game for myself, because I feel like that if you do that, it could just kind of, like, I don't know, make it kind of boring. Um, I don't know, I love Pikmin, and I feel like that part of the joy is just, like, the problem solving in it. Uh, so I didn't really want to spoil the whole thing for myself by watching somebody else's yesterday. Or, like, I don't know, playing too much of it on my own. I wanted to... And, I, like, a little bit shame on me for doing this blind, because I'm like, uh... I don't know. I just... I feel like I should do more. Like, I should know more about the game. <laughs> but I'm also just like, ah, it's Pikmin. I never play Nintendo. I wanted to do it. Uh, yeah, it did look like a boss arena. Although, what else is there? Hang on a second. Oh, actually, that does look like a boss arena over there. Just trying to see. Could we... There's, like, a big paper bag over there. Yeah, you know, let's see if we can get to the end of this part. Hang on a second. Um, I'm going to end the day. Let's see if we can get to it before, like, the end of this stream. Hang on a second. End day. I'll be right back. One more second. I just have to... I'm, like, increasing my fluid intake. Be right back. Oh, awesome. We've unlocked enough stuff to level up the dingle hopper. Oh, fantastic. Okay, we- Oh, we actually did rescue a few other humans today. Or, I mean, Hockatations. Is that probably the name of the- Hockatadians? Detective's Truth Seeker. I think I'm going to uh, borrow a few of these to call these- This is much more fun to call these items this, rather than what their real names are. Yeah, I'm just gonna continue. With this. I would like to get to that first boss fight, though. What's my favorite fluid? Yeah, I did have to increase my fluid intake. I do like having ga Gatorade and orange juice for when I'm sick. That's good. Uh, updates on the castaway. No, I don't really care about you people here. 
Um, let's go ahead. I just want to kind of get to the boss fight. The boss fights in this game are oddly really fun. Nintendo games just have, a, like, a great way of... I don't know. It doesn't feel like... It doesn't feel like a, like a chore to fight a boss. It just feels like probably one of the more fun parts. It makes you want to go to the next boss fight. Oh, the Blossoming Arcadia. Now, that being said, like, we might not be able to. I think we probably should, based on what I've seen here. I just finished one area. Although there are some levels in Pikmin where you need to, like, you know, go progress partway through one area, and then you have to go to the next area, and then the next one. So I'm going to give it a full look here, and if I can't do it, then I'll just end it there. But, like, uh, I mean, I think we should be okay. Oh, I did forget to upgrade. You're right. I don't know. I, I mean, like... Upgrading wasn't really even in the other Pikmin games. I was just like, what is going on? Here? Nah, I think I can do it without upgrades. This is a speed run. I'm trying to do it with limitations. Uh, here we go. Auto confirm. Of course, I'm kidding. I'm just not. I just have a poor memory. <laughs> Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to get over the water to get to the Pikmin who are in the water. Oh, now that the dog can jump, though. Yeah, we can totally... Okay, this should be very, very simple for us. All right, uh... Oh, just keep hitting your dumb head on that. There we go. Ten for the baseball. Or what would they call it? Like a ball base? A ball of white leather. No, they wouldn't really know what it is. Okay, a ball of game having. All right, we're going to go do a couple more of these things. Hectic hollows. Unable to climb up the wall. Oh, maybe we could find Alamar. Oh, yeah, we do get a couple more rescues here. Ooh, like a babushka. That's very fun. Okay, let's go in with these ones. A pitcher sphere. A freedom ball. You know, like it's America's past time. What's America's future time? Probably football. Pro definitely, yeah, football would be with a one. <laughs> it's so sad that baseball is because... Although football is so much more popular. Although who doesn't love the violence, you know? It is thrilling. Are they hurting themselves in some way with that, like, like sulfuric-looking gas? No. All right, they're fine. All right, we will continue through the mushroom forest. Oh, here we go, 14 of these. I'm pretty sure we have that much material. We'll probably find more of it throughout the cave. Auto-lock is very nice. Oh, it seems we've found another strain of pick. Oh, no, these are just the uh, ice guys. Never mind. I thought we found a new one. Finding them in the cave was unexpected. All right, climbing wall. Oh, now they can climb up the wall. If I had read about that before, it would have made more sense to me. Oh, God. Oh, look, they're like spider people. Oh, my gosh. It's like we're playing the original Pikmin again. Now that I'm here commanding my Pikmin alone. Oh, yes. Oh, that is kind of interesting that you can send them individually. Okay, that is good. That is good. I do like that. Uh, I can't tell if they're doing anything. Never mind. Cool. Okay, those ones are going to freeze it, and then they'll destroy it. And... Oh, no, those... <laughs> Those ones are really struggling with the dwarf bulb orbs. <laughs> oh, did I just leave those all to their deaths? I didn't even realize that. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is becoming a way faster way to command them. Go do that. Yeah, rather than having to lock onto every single thing and throw them all at it. <laughs> He's resisting! Uh, I need more of you. Okay, charge into the box, then we can get the dog back. It's 
You know, honestly, I think they did a good job with making the game, like, still fluid. I was worried if they would add too many pieces to the game and it would just be like a mess. Because there is a lot of content in it. <coughs> Excuse me. No, it still feels very, like, fluid, though. It feels like they're presenting things in, like, a very piecemeal fashion. And that that actually seems to work for this type of experience. Oh, look, the bottom of the babushka! There we go. Ten people. Right, and then the rest of you guys bring back treasures. And somehow, I don't feel like I'm spending 95% of my time managing my Pikmin, either. Which, admittedly, was kind of fun, but... I mean, despite the fact that it was a chore, I actually really liked it in the original game. Uh, it appears as if we're definitely not going to get that one for now, though. Yeah, let's just leave it. Babushka! <laughs> oh yeah, are we, is this turning into a Radal video? <laughs> Radal and his Babushka play Pikmin. Uh, he's a funny dude. Oh, you can freeze water? Wait, wait, really? Ooh, you know, I don't think I'd actually even thrown them onto it. I don't know why that... Yeah, why didn't that occur to me? I feel like a, like a dingus now. Hang on a second, let, Babushka. <laughs> I can't say it that way, I can't say it. Hang on a second. I mean, he's just kind of chilling there. How would they freeze the water? Actually, let's just test it out. Oh, this is a Matryoshka. I thought we called it a Babushka. Never mind. Matryoshka dolls. Yeah. Oh, you throw ten in. Okay, that is useful to me. Thank you for this information. Yeah, they, they see... Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, we can go up back above the surface and then get the blue Pikmin. That is kind of cool. They're like Ice Nine from Kurt, Vonnegut, Kurt Vonnegut's Cat's Cradle. Look at them go. Look, Babushka. <laughs> I just like how he does it. It makes me wish that I were Russian some of the time. Mostly I'm good, but, you know. Sometimes it makes me wish that I had a babushka. So, what happens? How do we get them back? Or do they just remain in there forever? Stay! This is your new life. <laughs> oh, interesting. Does it not... It still stays frozen. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Whoa, it like, quickly goes back. Or it, yeah, you know, it cracks up. That is cool. Okay, they really did a good job on that mechanic. Wow, I never would have expected that! Ho Holy Pluto, thank you very much for that. And Phoenix Rides, thank you very much. I totally didn't see that. I am sorry. I should have, I should have seen that when you said it. Get that good nectar. Don't they seem a little bit, like, problematically addicted to the, to the nectar? I always thought that. They're like, oh, I can't resist. I can't resist it any longer. Uh, yeah. There's secretly just a whole planet full of junkies. It's nutrients. <laughs> Actually, they're nutrients? <laughs> uh, <laughs> of course, I'm kidding. Of course. <laughs> I just love to say everything in that voice. Uh, okay, we found a guy. Some of these dungeons have multiple levels. I think that the dungeon format is actually, like, pretty well suited to Pikmin. Let's go into this, the fiery blow. Blobus. Oh, Jesus, what is happening here? What is the red stuff? Hang on a second. Let me let the Pikmin go. Let my Pikmin go. What is that? Oh, it's for the dog. Oh, the red nectar. I w no, it might die. We have to take it to the hospital now. Spray consisting of ultra spicy compounds. Side effects still unknown. 
What is it, like a fire flower? Voyage log. Keep samples sealed in a bottle so you don't spill it on your pack. All right. Wait a second. We have another man. Wasn't I told to bring down the... Not the yellow Pikmin here. Oh, maybe I can exchange them here. Let me get an exchange student out of the... Out of the thing. Excuse me. Hang on a second. Uh, this is kind of bad. Don't I need yellow Pikmin here? I don't think I can go back in. I'm trying to figure out what I did wrong. Oh, I can't jump on my own, but I can jump while mounting the dog. Oh, I might be able to do that, though. Alright, let's throw them at this and see if we get anything out of it. Maybe there are other yellow Pikmin just around, though, available for the taking. I feel like something bad is going to come out of one of these, one of these days. That was kind of a major fail. Uh, whatever that thing is, looks like it's from the DLC. I didn't buy the DLC. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, here we go. Oh, this looks satisfying. Oh, look, take it down from the spider web. My god, no one sustained any brain damage. Oh no, they're struggling. Okay, never mind. One of them helped. Alright, uh, how will I ever get to that? Yeah, look, like everyone, it's one of the ball... Ball hammer. Use that to hammer a, a... A ball that's lying around. Any ball. You could use that to hammer it. When it needs to be, when it needs to be hammered. When the time arrives. <laughs> New treasure, okay. Hmm. I, I'm not even sure if yellow guys would get this though. I feel like there's something more that I'm trying to figure out here. Let's figure out the rest of the level. Nope, I'm just gonna have to leave you. Chat, do I need to go back and get yellow Pikmin? I don't know why it didn't recommend that I take them. Oh, ramming it. Good idea. Yeah, let's see if this works. Oh, that totally worked. How did you know? Ah, zombie horrible. Thank you very much. I would have just totally gotten out of the dungeon. Ramming it actually works. Really? That was a guess? Holy cow, that was actually really good. He was kind of, like, dangling all over the ledge there. I was like... Possibly looked up that... In no, that was a very good guess. Very nice guess of you to have had that. Okay, let's see. Is this Alamar? Why do they all look pale and identityless? Dingo from Planet Ori. Excels at solo missions. Not a joiner by nature, but he'll show up. It sounds like his eHarmony profile. Lend his physical abilities when need be. That sounds even more like an eHarmony profile. Potentially a couple more candidates for the mission. Search for lost rescue officers. Okay, I think we've done our we've done our job here. Although the days do last quite some time when you've got um, a wife and kids to take care of, you know. I mean, uh, when you have to go through all these dungeons. That cutscene, something about it is very satisfying. Seeing all my people float up. Also, Peckinwolf, thank you very much for the 10 months. As well as Coda. Lonester, sorry, I missed that before. Jupitaru, thank you for the 300 bits. And Jupitaru for the sub. And the BF96. Sorry, that took me a little while. I've been a little slow. I'm a slow boy. Aspiration ritual poll. Now we're talking. Mama doll head. Empty vase. Okay, that one I felt like they could have put together. But whatever. Congratulations complete. All right. If the word gets too big, I just take a guess. That's what you do. 
Oh my gosh, sorry, it's raining really hard outside, like suddenly where I'm at right now. This is like um, Florida summers is something I've gotten used to. It's basically like winters in the Northeast. You just stay inside all the time. It's just like, oh no, I don't want to experience the weather right now. You go out in the middle of the day and it's just so, it's not nice, it is not good. It's not fun. Um, oh look, there's the ball. The ball of great esteem. Or whatever it is. Okay, now we can bring these ice- Oh, I'm actually very excited now to use the ice Pikmin's ability. Hey, look at him. He's not even ri He's riding bareback. He's riding a dog bareback and with no hands. Oh, we need 30 ice Pikmin in order to do this. Okay, we may need to do more then, but... Hang on a second. I need to put many of you back. Oh, you know, uh, this isn't gonna work, because I've got a room for only 30 right now. I'm gonna need, like, at least another 10 if I want to do this. Okay, let's go ahead and see what else is on the map. Okay, I really want to get the blue Pikmin, because I like them. Feeling like we might be able to do this trial over here. We might also be able to do that and this. I think before we get to the boss. Yeah, but if we need 30 over there, that might there might be more work to do. So you know, let's just do a little bit more exploring. Okay, first off, I want to see if I can get the water area over. I want to say it's over here. Oh no, it's over here. What is this like timed trial? Because this guy look looks like he's asking to get rescued. Okay, we need only 20, so we could get Mr. Berry Head over there. Yeah, I think that could be done. Let's head back to the ship. Yeah, Southern Summers, man, you know what I mean? Like, you just stay inside all day. If you do go outside, you're just utterly miserable. I was out for about an hour today, and I hated everyone. I, for, all, for the whole time. It wasn't good. I don't recommend it. Here we go. All the people, they just felt my wrath. You get sw it's not, it's not pleasant at all. Okay, that guy looks like he really has to go to the bathroom over there. Look, puppies. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why does it say puppies? <laughs> like, welcome to the puppy store. We'll put it in a bag for you. <laughs> I wait, I, I'd rather that you not. You don't need to do that for me. Alright, what happened to the red one over there? Is it okay? Here we go. Mr. Berry Leaf Pink Face. He looks like the Lorax. Okay, I don't know what I f how I feel about these Leaf Face people. I feel like, you know, people are supposed to have, you know, like, regular faces. Oh, wait a second. No! Don't die. Don't die. Get on me. Oh, God. How am I gonna... No! <laughs> no! Why did I do that? <laughs> Everyone's gonna die. Everyone's gonna die. Oh, those two are definitely gonna die. No! <laughs> <laughs> everyone dies! Okay, everyone dies. Okay. Don't die! <laughs> no! I've lost some of them. Oh no, I killed the dog! What have I done? Uh, jeez. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, uh, what do I do now? I'm just gonna go into this new dungeon with 18. All right, well, it is just a trial. I thought I had to bring everyone with me. All right, two have died. Two have died. <laughs> Collect all the treasure and creatures within the time limit. All right, we'll give this one a try. <laughs> that was so dumb. I, I feel like that kind of thing always happens in Pikmin, though. I couldn't even have them along anyway, so two died for nothing. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I'm so glad, though. At least it happened. I mean, it was bound to at some point make a huge mistake like that. Usually 20 or 30 die, though, in those situations. Like, not that few get away with it. All right, you're going to explain a game where I already know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, I can't carry it home. I'm going to find, like, a, a Boston cream donut or something ridiculous over here. Um, so why are there other Pikmin over there already fighting with the local indigenous species? I not really figure that out. Oops, I meant to charge at him. Okay, I can also do damage with the dog. Smack! Here we go. Okay, get that eclair. How was I even able to identify that? Yeah, apparently I'm really good at identifying pastries, despite the fact that I'm... I'm just not a fat kid. Oh, uh, wait a second. Ah, oh, man, I'm totally forgetting. I'm not used to playing Pikmin with this many controls. I don't know why it is. Hang on a second. Okay, we probably should help out the, like, the wild Pikmin over there. But I, I want to complete this as well. Oh, I should have just done this. Man, I could be so much more efficient. Efficient. Okay, let's get that, that. Now we at least we have more Pikmin with which to do the jobs. Now there's all these dead people and food around. No, uh, hang on a second. Oh, these ones won't be domesticated until I prove that I'm the strongest. Okay, there we are. Come with me. I am better than you. <laughs> Please. I know what's good for you. Uh, it's not very convincing, is it? Oh, look, a waffle. I did not expect that. Wasn't it covered in sand? Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, good. We have the eclair and the dead guy. And what will be next? Oh, no, only two out of three. I really messed up. Whatever. Okay, we still have another uh, a blowhole to get over there or whatever there. How could anyone possibly finish this? No, we don't want to waste our time with that crap. Hang on a second. Um, no, don't leave the Pikmin. There's a, a lot of big jobs to be done here. You have a pink leaf for a face. Why are you giving me orders? Why, why don't you get that off of yourself? Okay, hang on a second. The gold is going to be worth more than everything else. More than all the rest. Oh, no. Please don't do that. All right, whatever. I will do the combat for you. Right. Are the oh no, they can die, unfortunately. That is too bad. I do regret your death, so I just want you to know in advance. Oh no, they they seem to be like invulnerable right here. Okay, never mind. Okay, go get the gold. The gold is the most important item. Phew! Okay, I think that we won the challenge pretty much. Though we do get more treasure for this. It just seems to be like this indiscriminate amount of treasure, you know? Good, go mining! Like the gold rush, Jesus. I lost ten- oh, I did lose ten pigments. So I did. Why did you have to point that out? <laughs> I did miss that, unfortunately. Oh well. Oh well. They're dead. They're not coming back. Although, it's funny how these ones out here in the wild have just, like, kind of continued their labors. Oh, okay, here we go. Can we get the jelly in time? I need all of you. I think there's, what, 24? I have 22, 23, 24. Okay, we might be able to get the jar of jelly by the time that this is over. Who knows why those other things are there? Oh, no, we need only 12 for that. What is this? Wait a second. For, for the love of God, is this nectar in here? Okay, no, it's not. Never mind. I have no idea why there's this giant thing of grass over there. Okay, apparently there's a lot more gold up there that I should have gotten, but... Well, whatever. You can't have it all. 
All right, I, I think that's pretty much it. That's all I care to do. I don't... Oh, no, I played as the dog. Maybe the dog is secretly the protagonist. All right, good. We're going to get gold, I think. Barely. I mean silver. Definitely not gold, but we aren't that good. I'm thinking these mini games are, like, they're interesting, but... I do like moving the uh, the main quest forward. I feel like this is probably going to be the best multiplayer Pikmin game. Although I still, like, one will always kind of have a special place in my heart. You know? There were Pikmin in it. Yeah, I didn't even... I really messed that one up. I'm not particularly... I never said I was good at it. I did say that I liked it. I don't think I claimed being good at it, though. Also, work all three. Thank you very much for the uh, for the sub. Thirty pieces of raw material. Not on. I don't think that was worth it. I feel like he could have been nicer. To, he could have been nicer to me. I'm being, I'm being very entitled right now, though. He's like level one. Oh no! I, are you telling me I'm not good enough? <laughs> Oh, God. It's like reminding me of the Stardew Valley thing. <laughs> like, actually, when I played Winter, and I was just like, oh, this game is so chill. God, I was, like, stressing some of the time when we were playing it before. Um, oh, no. I've really messed up now. This area... Okay, some of you guys are gonna die. Hang on a second. Um, I might just have to end the day and let these Pikmin die. How am I supposed to get out of here? I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead, guys. Oh, you know, I know what I could do. Um, I just will leave his dead body here. Whoops! Oh well. Alright, see if any of you manage to survive. Okay, yeah, he... Most of you won't survive. Oh, but look, they just totally crossed the deadly stream. Whatever, alright. We'll wait until we have access to more ice Pikmin, or blue Pikmin, one or the other. That's fine. Right. What else do we have? We have the time trial. We have the other man lying there on the ground. We have a paper bag. We have another challenge. And then we have some other crap up here. So let's go ahead and see that. All right. Keep riding the dog. All right. I guess we just spend the rest of the day doing this more or less. What happened to the other ice Pikmin? Oh, it would, the game asked me uh, if I wanted to keep... I mean, I forgot that I was supposed to have 20 of them in order to complete my goals. And then I I just forgot. That's that's the true story. Uh, unfortunately, that, unfortunately, that is the way it went. Uh, these are all new Pikmin. Uh, it seems many of mine died. Well, oh well. <laughs> Uh, upsy daisy. It does make you feel like oddly remorseful. Like, uh, was, was it me? Was it my fault? Did I not care enough, or would it have happened to anyone anyway? Generally, in these instances, I have a small crisis and I stop playing the game and I just, like, reflect on life and the way things are going. You know? Knowing I can't really have it all at the end of the day. Listen to them singing their, their little song. Their Pikmin song. <laughs> I think I lost, I'm pretty sure I lost two back there. That was honestly pretty good. I thought I was going to lose all of them. All right, I think we've got another glory hole coming up here. And then, well, after that, I, I don't really know what lies next, but... Found a hole that should lead out to the top of the mountain, but the inside was more convoluted than expected. Okay, cool. Got a couple levels here. 
All right, I'm going to go with the game's recommend, 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 recommend. Every word is turning into Pikmin. Recommended Pikmin, though. Aquiferous Summit. Yeah, no, I should be able to swim. Like, Alamar in the first game could always, you know, walk around underneath the water. He was heavy, and he wasn't buoyant in his suit. However, that being said, I had my doubts about myself. There we go. Okay, we have tons of ice Pikmin. It recommended that. Now I guess it's the game is trying to teach us how to use the water and the ice thing mechanic. Alright, how many is it going to take for here? Okay, interesting. So we're going to have two options here. We can either go here or... Oh, this is how you're supposed to learn about the... I wish I had done this before, because then I would have known that. <laughs> but I didn't, so I don't. <laughs> the Ice Pikmin are a nice mechanic, though. I like them. I feel like they would have been useful in the first game. They kind of make fights really easy. But what was the point of that? Oh, did we just get more Pikmin? Now we have, like, 50 with us. Somehow I think we did. Did that just give us access to more? I want to say that was more Ice Pikmin. It's funny how they just stay there in the water. Uh, cool, I guess I can get these ones too. It's good that they get a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh yeah, look at us. We got 55 Pikmin. Jeez Louise. What happens if we get more? We get an even deeper freeze? No. Well, this is actually a fairly simple one. I mean, uh, at least it's raised the number of... I wish I had gone in here before, otherwise I wouldn't have had all those mishaps with killing those other Pikmin. But it was kind of funny. Here we go. Two. What is that, like a playing card? Oh, hey, maybe... Wait, is that one of the, um... Is that like one of the old original Nintendo collectible card things? I want to say that was one of the things that originally Nintendo sold. Am I totally off with that, guys? Did anyone recognize that image of a bird? And there was an image of a bird. <laughs> what am I saying? Yeah, are, are they called Harifuda cards? I don't know the name. Yeah, okay, so then that actually is a really... That is like a an original Nintendo throwback, that reference. That is actually really cool. I like to see that. Code Star, thank you very much for the sub. Thank you. Love you back. Wow, that is cool. It's like a little Nintendo history lesson. I love how they've added all of these like nods to old stuff in their games. Ah. Like, I know that not as many new franchises come out nowadays. I guess the one that comes to mind that I didn't really play was, like, Splatoon. That game looked pretty good. People seem to... Actually, that looked very inventive in its mechanics. It was just like, ooh, I should have played that. That looked like fun. But alas, I did not. I could always go back. It was for the... I believe it was for the Wii U. Uh, whoops, I should have gone with the other one. Never mind, just mashing A. So it has like an ice needle. I don't go with it. Wow, we've got our Pikmin up to like 60 now? Jeez, what are we doing? This is great. Okay, I definitely don't want to throw those there. So we go step by step here. They pulled that off. I think I got the ability that makes me like resistant to the lava too. I just have to be careful here. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's cool. Ooh, gold! I, I, the game does seem to kind of, like, stop for a second when you throw exactly the right number of Pikmin at an obstacle. That is a nice thing, because in the first game I would have to do all this micromanaging, like, uh, I accidentally threw one more than I should have over there. That is kind of a nice thing to have. Like, when I hit ten, it kind of stops me from sending more. Okay, one, and it got automatically attracted to me, but whatever.
Oh, okay, there we go. They are building the bridge. They're actually doing really well with multitasking. There we go. Okay, send more of you over there. And there's a big button over on that side. Oh, origami! That also seems to be... Is that another Nintendo reference, I think? I'm, like, surprised... Maybe there is more stuff that's, like, special references than I even realized. Now that I mention it. Hanafu... Oh, is it Hanafuda? Hanafuda. I mean, I wouldn't really be able to say any of it. I wouldn't be able to grab that word just off the back of my head. <laughs> that's... that's pretty good. <laughs> You've got good history there. I kind of love knowing, like, the older history, and now it... It's kind of funny being not like 12 anymore. I actually can look at some of this stuff and just like feel my age. Animal enthusiast Dalmo. He loves animals and they love him. It's a, it's a he? Okay. Hmm. Keep going. Uh, okay, big white button. We've got a couple more ice Pikmin. And then we've got that origami thing. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. Ooh, nice. Sweet. So we take that, and then we take out this. The one thing I will say, though, about this game, like the extensive impact of it, a lot of these... I'm just trying to think if Pikmin really is at its heart, like a simulation or a puzzle game. It does kind of have that, although I'm kind of leaning more toward the puzzle side of it. Maybe if I knew the entire game by heart, I would be- I would have more to say. But it's also like... I feel like I am learning enough that I'm just like, uh... I feel like I'm just kind of commentating on what I'm doing. Sometimes I, I'm curious about that with Nintendo games. Like, would they make decent games for the channel? A couple of them here and there. Not most of them. Most of them wouldn't. But... Like, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I can't help but wonder all the time. I think the way that I did pick... I was pretty satisfied with how I did it the first time. Or I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna reflect on this whole adventure. What it was, what it meant to me. It partly helped that I had played it as a kid. Alright, I think that's everything here. Okay, so if we come back to the surface here... I wonder if we're going to emerge at the boss fight, or if we're just going to have a little bit more treasure. Aquifer Summit. We got Dalmo. It's reunited in Pikmin. Simulation. Pick and flick simulator. Talisman of Life Crane. Okay, so then this is one of the original Nintendo cards. Hanafuda. That's so cool. Skin of the Phoenix. This is like sort of a Nintendo homage. Like cave. A cave of homage. <laughs> Welcome to the Cave of Homage. We've been waiting. Excuse me, I'm getting like all nasal again. I gotta sweat out the demons. Maybe I'll take a shower in a bit. Went for a big run. Oh, actually, I already did shower today. Maybe I'll just take another shower. Take a bath. I think baths are pretty underrated. Okay, here we go. Um, is this the... Well, I guess I'll go with the recommendation, because this could be the boss fight. Although this could be a horrible recommendation now. If it is a boss fight. Oh, I mean, we've already kind of fought this boss. Like, in the demo, but... Alright, I guess we'll fight it again. I mean, it was a pretty cool enemy. I liked it. I thought this thing was- Oh, Jesus Christ, yeah. This is challenging, though. It is- Don't be fooled, it is challenging. <laughs> I wouldn't- I wouldn't be dying this much if it were easy. Whoops. Okay, I just totally messed up the controls. Please don't re-row at the last second. Okay, there we go. It's fine. Oh, Jesus Christ, we can freeze it, too? I don't think this thing is like a true boss in the game, although this is the most boss-like enemy that we've faced, so... Oh, Jesus! It's using artillery strikes, like me. 
There we go. Okay, twice, and that should be enough to kill it. Make sure. Oh, cool! We got more pink stuff. Sweet! And that was enough for the rest of our Pikmin. Oh, cool! And we got more Nintendo cards. Or Hanafuda cards. Oh, wow. I never actually expected to get more of them, like, out here. Let them go sup of the nectars. So what else is there in this area? That does look like a pretty significant object, though. Oh, Jesus Christ, the dog can drink that crap for... Man, it's also... I've also gotten addicted to the nectar. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, cool, a pomegranate. Or something like that. I mean, that's not a pomegranate at all, but... You know, I'll, I'm willing to call it a pomegranate for fun. <laughs> Destroy that <laughs> Hmm, okay. This is a very satisfying mechanic, though. Whoops. Let's go with ten. Uh, I don't know. I guess that's the... Is that the end of the first area? Usually there's, like, a big, like, you know, uh... Like, widescreen portion where there's a, a first boss. Like the burrowing snag rip. Or at least I know they did that in Pikmin 3. I think in the first Pikmin, the boss fights were just sort of like, yep, yeah, this is a boss. But there was never really any enemy ex name explanation or anything like that. So are you able to dig that up? Okay, he just looks depressed now. Oh, wait a second. No, I'll send more. For their most probable depression. It looks like they're gonna... Yeah, they got a peanut. Look, there they go. They've got a peanut. Good job, boys. Alright, let's see if we can get this thing with the rest of them. Uh, this may not be enough. Okay, we got 20. I think that's all the treasure in the first area, right? I was thinking that would be a slightly tougher enemy, but, like, whatever. Still cool. Let's throw another one or two at that, just so that if they lose somebody, as they often do... Okay, this is the best part of Pikmin. <laughs> oh, I love that when they all fall. Uh, it's like a testament to the value of teamwork and, you know, pushing each other even when things don't look so good. Uh, finding lessons in Pikmin. I do love it. All right, so I think for the last thing, I'm like, we're pretty much done with this area. Like... I guess there wasn't a boss, or... I guess that was the boss, or... I mean, was that the boss? It was a pretty tough enemy. I do kind of like, though, that they didn't have to give us, like, a whole cutscene. Oh, a dragon fruit. Thank you. I'm sorry. Man, I rarely eat dragon fruit. As you can probably tell. We've got 33 helping that one. It's unfortunate we're going to have to spend, I think, one more day here, but... I think we just get... Oh, no, actually, I'm, I'm a little bit boned now. Uh, I think that this is going to require me to get more Pikmin, but I did clear the area, though. All right, I'm willing to say that. Maybe I'm supposed to go to another area to get the rest. Uh, we could go and get this guy, probably, with our other ones, but I feel like that that's pretty good. Either that or we have to get Olimar, but I wanted to get blue Pikmin as my last thing, but it seems like I need to do more, so I think I am going to leave it there. Anyway, I'm going to end the day. Um, I think that's about all I was going to get to. I thought there would be like a slightly more climactic boss battle ending, but... Yeah, I don't know. I really wanted to play Pikmin 4. I'd had it on my list since the very beginning of the year, and... Uh, I don't know. I just think it's a really fun Nintendo game, and it, it kind of combines a lot of the stuff that I enjoy in most of the simulation games I do with, like... I don't know. Other... My other gaming interests that you rarely see on the channel, but... Um, I don't know. Yeah, I wanted to, uh, explore it with you guys. Try out some of the new game. Let me know how you like it. Um, I probably this is just gonna be a chill one. I just like to, like, cover one or two Nintendo releases a year, but, um, yeah, I might do, like, some more retro stuff. We were thinking of doing some Pokemon videos. Um, but yeah. <laughs> ask a moral or ethical question regarding our state or government and how it's affected it. if it can includes 
how Pikmin is an allegory, then it will be allowed. And that, my friends, is why we are playing Pikmin today, is to uh, explore the seamy underbelly of society through various mundane objects that we dig up in the backyard. Although I do kind of miss the time limit, I gotta say, because... I think that was one thing that made the original one so exciting. So, long live, long live, I still love the first one. It has a special place in my heart. But, um, I gotta go back and play three now, too. Now it occurs to me. Anyway, let me know if you want to see more of this. Um, most likely I'll end up doing this as a one-off. But, uh, yeah, if people want to see more Pikmin, I probably could do a little bit more. And, um, it's just a crazy month coming up, honestly. 